repeat this here. And... Is there some clever way I can do this? Two biomass to one blank data card. I don't think so. I think we just... I think we just do it like this. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to put it down here. Something like that. No, if I allow that through unfiltered, it could jam. Did you have a dropout? Uh, I hope not. Not to my knowledge. Where's my uptime? Almost 90 minutes? Just filter on the splitter. I don't think it'll work, because we'll get random... Well, we'll probably just get the one type of resource until it runs out. From each loader. It dropped for a sec? That's rude. Cringe, even? Um, I guess I'm overthinking this. Most likely a Twitch thing. I guess that's possible. How about we do it like this? And then just merge it. I don't know, it feels like I should have been able to come up with something a little smaller and neater. But I might just be... overestimating what's possible. So we want... Uh, biomass. Oh, what's it called? Here it is. Biomass. And blank data card. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And red wire here. Set filters blacklist. Chip right click, chip left click. And that's our input. Should take evenly from both sides. Even if it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, up here we need some lubricant. And these should start working. There we go. Can you unload into a 3x3 cheat chest and filter loader out of that? Um, no, because it could fill up with random things. We can't set a filter on those stacks. Okay, so we need the fluid output to be done. Which is a little bit of a problem because it won't let me place this directly. Let's get some super roboport, super construction, um, aggregate passive provider chest. There we go. There we go. Okay, contaminated bio sludge is going to come over here somehow. Um. I guess this might be the neatest way to do it. That's not quite symmetrical. There's no... Uh, there is a center tile, what am I saying? If there was... Or rather, there isn't. If there was a center tile, 15 would have worked. And then... bring it over here, perhaps? 
Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then down here. What? Oh, right. Mucky, thank you very much for the 18 Double twitch, months. Double Twitch baby. <laughs> Indeed. Good to see you again, Mucky. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... How, long, how much longer is our trip? Oh, we're here. Time flies, I guess. Uh, we needed to start work on Iridite Core Fragment. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Let's anchor where we normally would. Okay. So it should be safe now to jump into the editor. There's no auto launch here. Let me finish this build and then we'll continue. Um, so I just continue down this way, I guess. Let's do a niner. Pretty neat. Make that a seven. And this is five. And this is like two, I guess. That actually seems pretty good to me. This is junk data cards. And nothing else. We've already named this one. We've already named this one. High priority, both fluids and solids. It's only the fluids that need to be a high priority pickup, but we can't distinguish without time sharing, sending signals to LTN. Do our input signals and station names. Okay, so these three things Biomass, blank data, and uh, plasma stream. This is going to be very similar. Goes into. Uh, it's not a laser facility. Which one is it? It is a thermodynamics facility. And out comes biocombustion data. Please tell me it's going to apply the changes. Don't make me do that again. Okay, cool. Uh, and this one wants the same stuff except lubricant. going into mechanical facility and out comes biomech data. I think I haven't done the inputs yet. So both of these are pretty slow. Well actually for the stack size biomass is kind of fast. Um, it only stacks to... that's not what I wanted to see. Let me just set the filters on this manually for a sec. Yeah, it only stacks to five. So blank data cards are moving quite slow for their stack size. Uh, biomass is moving very quickly. We can fit comfortably three train loads worth of stuff in here. So... The choice seems fairly obvious. We're going to do just the one train load, plus a little bit. Um, one 
100. Plus 10%. Uh, 110 stacks of blank data cards. And we'll do uh, 200 stacks. Oh, wait. No, it's six train loads that we could do here. Well, regardless, if we're asking for two train loads or more of biomass, um, the trains should keep up with it if it's at all physically possible, I think. Should probably calculate how long it would take. It's only 500 for one train load. Uh, 8.16 per second. 61.27 seconds. That's not that bad. So I'll just set it to a couple of train loads. So far, so samey. And 100k for whichever fluid. The fluids are usually quite slow. 81 per second, that's no big deal. And only 40 per second lubricant. Oh, is that not connected? Hmm, that's odd. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's remove all the cheaty stuff. We already tested this. And we'll grab our empty space. Clear out everything that's unnecessary. Add in a little bit more scaffolding, just to make it look a bit less tacky. But I'm not going to be so rich as to break out the nice... Uh... That's actually going to look kind of weird. Oh no, it's going to look kind of weird no matter what I do. Fine, we'll do it this way. Yeah, I'm not going to break out the space platform plating for every build. That's a whole girder. For every single tile. And I guess we'll just connect this like so. Bridge it across so it matches both sides under the pylon. Uh, as in fill in all of this, I'm not going to go that far. Alright. Looks a bit meh. How dare you agree with me. Okay. Let's just connect this over here. Alright, that'll do. And we blueprint. And we check that there are no cheaty items. Looks good. Snap to grid 86251. Uh, tiles, train stop names. And this was the first two bio sciences. Or tech cards, anyway. Uh, bio combustion data. I guess tech cards are different. Uh, data cards. Biomechanical data. Alright, 
fire, combustion, mechanical, mechanical data. Oh. Snap two looks right. And let's just put that here somewhere. All right, now we've got our block uh, that we can play with. We just remove all this. Combusticle, indeed. All right, clear out all of that. Put in the default. Well, actually, no, I've got a blueprint for this. Actually, actually, no. Instead of grabbing the blueprint and changing it and possibly missing something. Uh, let me just grab our current iteration on this design. Shove that in here for the moment. Back to the editor. In it goes, in it goes, um, and then I'm just going to update it. Why is that? Oh, right. That looks kind of sketch. That's a little bit better. And I think I'll update it for Erudite before I make the blueprint. Actually, let's not do that. This should all be exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, blueprint. Um, and this is going to be drop off. Guess I'll use this. Uh, dispatch drop off template. And snap to grid should probably be. Actually, I don't want to mess with it because we've got a. Well, I just have to not try and make it rotatable. 86, 24. Is that right? Not even a little bit. How did I get it so wrong? Isn't it usually 86, 25? Why did it change this? Why does it change the X and Y offset? Bruh, I'm just gonna... Oh my god. How about just no snap to grid and it'll automatically snap a little bit because of rail and because of the clamp. Okay. So that goes in here. That's the old version. Can't be absolute. Uh, this one was absolute. 86.24. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there. That was the same stats that I just tried to put in. Okay. Um, so Erudite is supposed to go down here. Let's do a couple of uh, rail things. Grab our construction train, bring it down here. I think it at least carries some scaffolding still. I could be wrong, actually. I think I may have completely offloaded 
the burden of scaffolding to the scaffolding train. Let's have a look. Here comes our construction train, and I don't see any scaffolding. Fair enough, it does take up quite a few inventory slots. Bidrith and Oba, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Viking Gamer, morning as well. Alright, there goes our scaffolding. And I'll need to place this again. Just as soon as we can place all of the solar panels. There we go. We might even have enough... Um, to do two blocks at once. Or three, even. Because it's not that much scaffolding. Here we go. How's our construction train doing? Here it comes. Grab the blueprint again. Fantastic. Once more with feeling. Oh, there's not. There's some rail missing still. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Uh, this will do, I guess. Hopefully we can knock it all out in one trip. Oh yeah, we've got tons of scaffolding still. Alright, it's actually this one that's supposed to be erudite. So let's grab our blueprint. Whoops. And place it carefully because the snap 2 wasn't behaving. Also, may as well drop this in here. Might run out of rail, actually. In which case... Come back here... After... Resupply. Oh no. I think we're short on the space platform plating. Because I removed it from the requests over here temporarily. Okay. I hope we've got enough. I might have to remove it from the construction ship for the moment. Because it's kind of expensive. Maybe I'll just take it over there myself. How much do we need? Oh, and why is this... Oh, I wish I'd fixed that in the blueprint. Random hidden bits of scaffolding still. Or not so hidden. Um, I don't understand why that little bit of plating in the front didn't get deployed. Were there no bots in the front of that train? Well, more importantly, uh, how many of these do we need? 2,000? Maybe 2,100? Um, I need some room in my inventory. That might help. Alright, I'm just going to remove the requests. F 
for space platform plating here for a moment. Send it back to the train. It's not going to be much of a problem once we get this outpost going. Or at least far less of one. Uh, the train is only trying to pick up 800. I guess if I drag 1300 over there myself, that'll also work. Or we've probably got more room in the train. Where did I set this? Here it is. Oh, we're not even asking for any plating right now. Alright, let's see how much inventory space we've got. About seven times four. 2.8k. Um, let's just go for 600 in each wagon. Should be more than enough to get the whole thing done in one go. Why is there stone in here? How, how is there stone in here? Um, that's pretty weird, actually. That's, that's very weird, actually. How on earth did we get stone in this system? Well, whatever the case. Alright, so where's our plating? It is in here. Oh, oh, this is 600 for the entire train, isn't it? Okay, uh, what do we need? Like, 2100 just to be safe. Except if the bots are inconsistent with how they fill these out, it'll be imbalanced. Oh well. Seems good. No, it doesn't. There we go. Oh, great. Now they're putting... You know what? Just just decon these for now. It's fine. That way the construction bots get in on the moving action. Got my first Naquim ingot at 126 hours. That seems pretty fast. Nicely done. That seems very fast, actually. Alright, how much have we got? 2100. Fantastic. Alright, let's park about here. Wait for inactivity. Grab a drink. Speed run, indeed. Okay, what do we got? That looks pretty good. Now if I paste this blueprint, it's not going to try and replace some of the floor, is it? I don't think so. Let's bring the construction train over. If it's ready, it looks like it's ready. Oh, some of the bots just caught up. Alright, that seems fine. Down we go. 
Actually, I should have parked it over here. Also, we're not going to need that little trip, are we? It's totally replacing the floor. Um, it's not putting scaffolding here, so no, I think we're fine. Wait, what? Why is there a hole there? How do we even have this signal transmitter ghost here if there's no floor there? What? That's kind of bizarre. Uh, apparently we don't have... Let me just turn my bots on. We need a single electric boiler as well. I thought we put that on the construction train. No, I probably handcrafted it because it was just like a one-off. Um, I need to hurry up and change the signals on these. Okay, this is set to default. Cool, cool, cool. It's not going to do anything. And... Fantastic. Uh, so this should be called something else, but that's not really a problem right now. No clamp either, so you're fine. Fantastic. This needs to be set for Core Fragment Erudite. Whoops, whoops, whoops. And we didn't, we didn't accidentally put any settings on the inserters, I don't think. I don't know if that's even possible. This should be set to Core Fragment Erudite. Um, these don't really need to change, well this part does. I could make it generic, but as I said last time, I want it to be very visible, what we're doing here. I also wonder if it's more UPS efficient. For it not to have to... Depends how it's coded. Actually, even if it is optimized pretty well, it's probably ever so slightly faster if it's not checking for, like, anything or everything signal. Could you have used a wire to easily set all of the blue chests for requests? Uh, I could, but then we'd increase our combinator count ever so slightly. Um, this right here is... that actually does stay. All of that remains the same, that remains the same, that remains the same. Uh... Yeah, none of this has to change. This part here needs to be set to Erudite. This needs to be set to Core Fragment Erudite. Um, this is going to be signal one. Oh, wait. Yeah, I've been over this, but, um, I kind of forgot the part where we might have more than one outpost for each type of core fragment, but I, I, I fixed that and there's room to expand it here. Um, but as it is, planet orbit 686, was it? Planet... Planet Orbit 683. If Planet Orbit... Oh, blah, blah, blah. If Planet Orbit is equal to 683, output S input count. Um, and it's going to be on signal 1. Uh, and for other outposts... We're going to have, like, output S input count, change S to signal 2, for example. That's what this is doing. S times 1 output as signal 1. Alright, is that actually all there is to it? I obviously need to set... Oh, crap. Uh, one thing I forgot is to label... I do have these here anyway. 
Ready ships, central dispatch. Is this going to cause something to happen as soon as I do it? Is that a problem? Huh. Since when is this set to default? Oh, I was looking at the wrong one. That's why. Alright, so... Dispatch. I'm going to need a train stop just to borrow a name here. Can I squeeze it in here? Just so that I can copy-paste erudite core fragment. To this. Because we can we can put symbols in here, but we just can't type them here. Or do the thing that lets us select them. So that is Erudite Core Fragment Dispatch. Signal will go through that only if there is a ship ready to launch and empty and full of fuel and stuff. At this particular particular location. There's one to the left of the XY Combinator with a purple icon still. One to the left of the X. Do you mean this thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a spaceship clamp. We'll get to that. Oh, purple icon. Oh, oh, oh. No, this is, uh, this is antimatter stream. So this will be for checking conditions when we've got the upgraded ships. Yeah, I can see I can see how you'd be misled there. All right. Um, we need an electric boiler. We need some logi bots. Yeah, we need at least one logi bot in the system to get the other logi bots into the system. I'll just make that 50. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to make a little trip to get an electric boiler, I think. Unless we've got them here. We do. Why weren't you on the train? They're in this container. Because I switched this off, that's why. I can see why I would do that. Right. Let's send... Oh, wait. While we're at it. While we are at it. Let's at least have a stack of space platform plating. Uh, in this cargo wagon. Which is apparently too much of a problem. Okay, fine. Forget about it for now. Um, construction train... Down here, please. Scaffolding train. This is a bit of a waste, but please come over here. Just to place two items, we're sending a couple of trains. Oh, and the construction ship is the one that has the clamps. I should have put a clamp on the construction train. Whoops. There's actually no clamps in here. Wait. No, there's definitely clamps in here. Yeah, there they are. 49. Let's go get them. I think I completely forgot to actually do the thing that I was talking about at the very start of the stream. Uh, to prevent n number of ships from backing up, ending up being all of our ships. Um, at the one drop-off? Let's see. No, I did, I did. Orbit... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. If back at home, imitate, uh core fragment is full, don't send a signal to ask for a ship. That's fine. That is fine. Alright, let's grab ourselves a clamp. And then we need to start making some more spaceships. Which are going to be a bit of a problem to afford, probably. Uh, not so much. We do have 500 floor right now. How much does our ship cost? 418 floor. Well, I can make one straight away at the very least. That's something. How full is this? Not that full. Uh, this is looking kind of full. Well, if it's not backing up, then... Our one train is keeping up, I suppose. Uh, I need to set... I need to set this clamp number to something other than this one, or we could have problems. Alright, so what's the clamp ID for the drop-off for Iridite Core Fragments? Core Fragment Iridite is... 16. Sixteen. Fantastic. Um, I actually do think here is as good a spot as any to build a spaceship until I make a proper berth. And considering how slowly we can build these things at the moment, building a proper berth is not that high of a priority. But perhaps I could at least... Oh, what are we trying to load here? Why are we out of signal transmitters, of all things? What goes into a signal transmitter? Nothing that fancy. Battery, processing unit, steel plate, big electric. Are we not automating them here? That might be the reason. I might have just brought up a lot of them a while ago. Um, I'd like to squeeze them in with combinators, but this is kind of full. Signal receiver, where is it? Okay. Should start getting made soon. Probably have all the prereqs already. Should do. Hurry up with the recipe. We've already got them. So why weren't they... Oh, we were probably asking for too many because of the way buffer chests work. We're asking for a lot of them over here. Uh, which means we do have a requ Here it is. Let's just double that. And wherever I shoved it in over here, get rid of it. Okay. Um, so our train is... Really? Now we're missing rail signals? Probably for the exact same reason. We're only trying to make 50 right now. There we go. As fast as the inserters can keep up with. Literally just instantaneous. Like... I don't know if... There's a single frame where the bar isn't full here. Full or empty. That's our construction train loaded. Okay, cool. 
Uh, let's put... Well... If I put... The trouble with this is if I put spaceship floor... I haven't made a system to automatically empty this of whatever we're not using anymore, because it would take more combinators than I would like. Um, but if I put spaceship floor in here, I need to remember that it's there. Well, I'm sure I can just use logistic networks if I'm desperate for it. Alright. I'll do a separate combinator here for... Um, for the spaceship stuff. So we're looking for, like, 450 walls, I mean floors. That should already be getting requested. Storage 504 on the way zero. It must all be in buffer chests. There's four over here. Where's the rest of it? Oh, I think I made a buffer up here. Yeah, I did. Uh, um, should I keep it that way? It might be easier. Let's just go grab stuff. I'll empty my inventory. Until we make a proper gantry, that is. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Couldn't bots assemble the spaceships for you without trains? Yes, but we'll get to that. For now, I really just want to get the throughput of our two most dire resources. Uh, one of which we need to make more spaceships. Quite badly, actually. Out of my inventory. Maybe not that stuff, actually. Whoops. Alright. That's a little bit better. Um, give me all of this. I've already got clamps. I don't need these. I only need a few of these. Pretty sure we don't need six turbines. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Can we go? Way down we go, actually. Print. I hope that's the most up-to-date version. I think it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's this one. Pretty sure. I need a single... oh no. I need a single storehouse. Drat. Uh, construction train. Get over here. It doesn't actually have a storehouse. Why did I put away my steel ingots or whatever it is that I need? I also forgot the regular walls. Whoops. I'll get the construction train to park here regardless. Actually, I could use it for a taxi. Or I could use a much faster taxi. Um, 
pretty much just forgot the walls and to carry something to handcraft a buffer chest. Come to think of it, I think I remember making sure that these two blueprints were the same. Oh. Destination full. There we go. Oh god, that scared me. Glad I wasn't trying to move. Uh, let's see... I'm gonna regret this, but personal logistics on. And we definitely need more walls than that. It's only 68, actually. Oh, there's not that many... Never mind. Never mind. Alright, so one buffer storehouse. That's it. Where's our train gone? Here it comes. That was fast. Alright, take me back over here, please. Wait till passenger not present. Yeah, I probably should set these to wait for, like, a stack of empty... Uh, used up uranium fuel cells. Because otherwise we're going to have this train coming out here 700,000 times. And where's our uranium? Oh, right. Normally it would be pulsed in by this thing when the ship lands. To set requests. So I think I'll just manually send it to our new outpost just once. Oh, that's fine, actually. And we're just going to do it this way because we could have done that remotely just to show that there's a way. Let's see. Ion stream check. Water is good enough, honestly. Uranium fuel cells check. I uh, don't think we need anything else. Yeah, it's only water level that's not reporting green. This looks good. Alright. Just to be safe, I should maybe ride it as well. Alright, how much heat have we got here? Not enough, but we can run off solar at first. Our destination is Stromhurst. Stromhurst orbit, to be precise. Ship integrity valid. Let's a go. I know these those bots are overloaded on media ammo. Um Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. Why did they do that? I deliberately... I only asked for 300. And we are reading from the... Do you mean to tell me because the bots were moving all the ammo at once that they reported a bunch of negatives and we got another 300 media defense ammo requested? Ah, uh, that's a little frustrating. Um, I guess I should have put a decider combinator here to say 
um, only signals greater than zero coming from the robo network. <sighs> Alright. We do have our construction train here. I mean, it's only going to matter when they're first filling it out. I really hate having to add a combinator just for this. Oh crap, 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 crap. Stop. No. Bad. They're going to send everything because... Because they thought that we had nothing for a minute. Stop. Don't pick this up. No. No, please. No. I guess uranium is probably fine. Batteries are probably fine. Because we're not asking for much. Is it, is it sending us more ammo? Even more batteries? Maybe I should set it to train limit one. Alright, that's the last of them. I hope this will fit. It might. It might just... I could just change this temporarily. Uh, we've actually got 46 Logibots available. It'll be fine. How close are we? 12 minutes? Oh, because the... No? I was going to say it's because we're still heating up. It kind of is. The accumulators haven't hit max charge yet, so we're not trying to go at maximum speed. Actually, we're almost at max speed already. 11 minutes and 38 seconds until our new hauler. Makes its way to Stromhurst. Vin24 Mars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Um, I don't think I have actually a vanilla scheduled train to take core fragments, uh, iridite core fragments downstairs yet. I can at least get the schedule ready, but in order to avoid it wasting fuel, I'll have to manually put in the advanced electric, additional electric engines and solar panels. Where should I put it? Probably up here. It's going to be in the way the least. So how does this work, TLDR? Outpost sends back to specific drop-off, but drop-off can dispatch to any request? Basically, yeah. Uh, because it... The bottleneck of, like, ships dropping off at the same uh, drop-off really isn't significant. So any outpost that gives us uh, Immersite Core Fragments is going to send the ship back here. Once the ship is refueled, rewatered, um, and bots have stopped moving, uh, it reports that the ship at the Immersite Core Fragment drop-off is ready. Uh, when that happens, signals can get sent through here. But th this is where we receive that signal. Um, so let's say... Oh, there it goes. Uh, if we've got, like, a ship ready at Immersite Core Fragment drop-off and at uh, Immersite Cave... Did I say Immersite Core Fragment? I meant Iridite. Iridite and Immersite. If both of those are ready... We use the anything signal to pick just one of those signals. 
Um, short version is the outposts take turns sending signals on this red wire. And the f this, this here is a memory cell that just remembers the first thing it's told and ignores everything else until it's empty. So as soon as we get an outpost uh, sending this information with its address and how many core fragments it's got, um, and stuff like that, then we're going to hold that on the memory cell. Once we get a signal for, like, one of the ships already, um, it'll pass through here. That goes to the dispatch again, um, and basically sends a launch signal. There's a lot more to it, but that, that's the gist of it. Where are we? 7 minutes 38 seconds. Makes sense. I was wondering how you were sharing ships, but it's a shared dispatch signal, basically. Technically, you could cut down a bit on the signal transmitters and receivers um, that we've got back at base, but it would be a big mess, basically. <laughs> It'd be quite difficult to deal with all those wires. Alright, what else are we doing? Uh, I was going to set the schedule for this thing. So, Iridite, or Fragment. It's going to be our drop-off. Uh, it's actually going down the elevator, not up. So we're going to go there and drop off until empty. Down the elevator, go to depot. Once train limit is greater than zero, go to four fragment drop off. Up the elevator, go to depot. Once it's available, go pick up iridite core fragments. Simple enough. I think we already named these. We did. Fantastic. I wish I'd remembered before I left. But we're not going to need that uh, train until this ship gets back. So it's fine, I guess. It's going to be good to get away from all the cargo rockets. All the crashing. Did you rename the requester for the new block? Rename the requester? Oh, I didn't. Good call. Now that we can get away with it, this is for erudite core fragments. But everything else stays the same. Oh, 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 this is important. We need to change the whitelist so that we don't take our iridite core fragments and send them to the mall. I wouldn't have caught that if you didn't remind me of this. I'm very excited to see this working, because this is this is the final test. Well, not the final test, but it's uh, soon we're going to find out if this thing will dispatch to two different outposts. Although I'm not sure if we have enough ships. I'm pretty sure uh, the purple stuff is going to get priority over erudite um, because of this signal ordering. When you use the anything signal, um, this signal will come before this signal, will come before this signal, and so on. So we kind of need to saturate. We, we need enough ships to saturate um, 
uh, emesite cave core fragments. In order to make sure we start picking up iridite core fragments. Which is a little bit of a problem because I need iridite core fragments to move so we can make spaceships faster. I could... I could temporarily change something or disable something so that the ships aren't going to cause all. Like, I could actually set this to erudite has to be equal, uh, greater than zero. In other words, we're not asking for a ship to come here until erudite core fragments back home are saturated. I don't think they're ever actually going to be saturated, though. I mean, not with the ships that we've got. Or not with the demand for erudite, that is. Alright, 2 minutes 30 till we see this working, we hope. Those wires look different, question mark? Nope. I'm pretty sure this uh, ship design has been updated. That both of those blueprints are the same. I could sort of eyeball it and do a lazy little check here. Export to string. Uh, U plus 7, blah blah blah, 14 WKMC. That was this one. And that other one that should be the same. Yeah, it's pretty damn likely this is the same blueprint. Probably. Victor Magnus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we there yet? One minute ten or so. What can we do? Um, I would jump into the editor but I want this to auto-clamp, and I don't want to end up effectively dead. Well, worse than dead. No respawn dead. Hardcore mode dead. How's our uranium, actually? Okay, that looks good. Um, I kind of sort of had some uranium problems off-screen. Off-stream, rather. But it looks like it's okay now. I think this is the vanilla schedule. Yeah, it is. I should do a redesign for this. So that we incorporate um, uranium fuel cells in to begin with. The funny dad? Hope my creepy emote disturbed someone. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that it's. I mean, it looks silly. I don't know how creepy it really is. Also, it's hard to squeeze enough creepy into that few pixels, right? Um, but yeah, how much uranium do we have left up here? About. 620k, there's also a mine up here, 705, alright, that'll take a while. We'll take a, hey, we're here. And our bots have already finished loading on the left side. Oh, they're taking, no, they're just doing the, the middle that's, that's all they're doing, is still loading the middle. And apparently it was too much for them. I'm a little surprised by that. Once this is full... Oh, 
or almost full. Countdown to launch should begin. There we go. That was too fast. Um, I think when I was testing this, the bots were much, much faster. And I should probably change this timer to be a little higher. At least for now. I do have systems in place to account for and fix things if we kidnap bots, so it's not really much of a problem. But we should probably try to avoid it anyway. Oh yeah, this thing's set to 500. We had to drop that a little bit. What was it set to over here? 100. When we're 100 short of completely full on core fragments, then we can start this countdown. And probably 5 seconds is enough in that case. More bots per outpost so bots don't need to charge mid-load. I don't want them crashing. I don't want them crashing and dropping items and having to do bot refurbishment at the outpost. I've already got 100 bots by having a pair... It's not just so I can cheese it and have a free 50 here and a free 50 here that won't crash. It's also because I don't want them crossing over uh, the entire spaceship to fill up like a specific uh, chest. I want them taking the shortest path possible. Broken bots in SE, indeed. Uh, and with SEK2, or is it SE.6, you get destroyed um, destroyed logistic bots that you can recycle. But I really don't want to be dealing with that at the outpost. Um, but yeah, we're, we're bringing back a decent haul at least. Uh, and let's check. Our destination is Hagen Orbit. Not that we need it, but we've got Hagen Orbit on the memory cell. If we were going via Foenestra, that would be very important. Because this is how we change our destination once we get to Foenestra. Um, we do have plus 15 uh, anchor to target left clamp on the memory cell. And just to confirm again, our target clamp ID down here is 16. Default 1 plus 16. So yeah, all seems to be working quite well. Alright, what else can we do? Remote control... Um, I could start this train, but there's no point until we actually get there. And once I get there, I should put the solar panels and stuff in. Let's see if anything's broken. Should probably check on that. It's about time. Uh, there should be six types of ingot. Uh-oh. When was the last time we got iridite? More than 10 hours ago? Serious? No, it's, uh... Yeah, it is. More than 10 hours ago. What the hell? We can't make spaceships with no iridite. Gibble, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? There's no liquid rocket fuel. There is no liquid rocket fuel on Gibble. Um, weren't we sending solid rocket fuel by cargo rocket to this place because it ran out where's the gibbel here it is apparently not well it's about time to update it to use a spaceship and space elevator anyway hello there Pospec, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And that's going to be a lot faster. Uh, ships going back and forth here. Well, not that much faster, but, but quite a bit faster. 
Actually, it is going to be quite a lot faster. What's our delta V from Hagen Orbit for Gibbel? Um, that says delta V from Hola 3. Go to Hagen Orbit and then tell me. 14,741. As opposed to around 20,000. It's actually not that different. Like, it's like 27,000, I think. Let's see. Stromhurst Orbit. Uh, no, don't tell me Delta V from Hall of Three. I'm glad we're getting closer to it, but that's not what I'm trying to figure out right now. God damn it. Didn't I just make this work? Like, I went to Hagen Orbit, and then Star Map, and clicked on Gibbel. No, that is Delta V from Holoth. Did I just misread it earlier? It's possible. I have another way to do it. Gibbel. This is Delta V from Hagen Orbit. Uh, Gibbel is only 3,908. That is incredibly close. Um, and Stromhurst? Stromhurst? Wait, did I say Gibble or Gibble Orbit? Does it show the same thing? Gibble Orbit is slightly closer. Stromhurst Orbit is 20k. Yeah, we're going to be getting core fragments a lot faster once I make a updated outpost there. I don't have anything in my dispatching system that's going to, like, prioritize the closer ones or anything. They're all going to be pretty close when we're using the anomaly. Welcome, welcome, Pospec. How close are we? Five minutes? Oh, man. All right, give me a moment. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so what should we do for five minutes? Let's see what other problems we have. Uh, production. So ten hours of no iridite ingots. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. Um... I could have sworn Gibble was one of the planets that we were sending. Uh, that we were sending solid rocket fuel to. So that, because we'd basically run out. I think we'd literally run out of crude oil. No, there's plenty. Must have just run out of uh, the crude oil that we have tapped. That's probably it. We've got some right here. Maybe I can fix this with minimal effort. We do have a construction train. Do I have any pump jack spare? I do, quite a lot. Um, let's put in all of the pump jacks, or at least ten anyway. There we go. And we need a... We need a pickup station. I could do it right here, but... It's a little sketchy. Oh, it's fine, actually. 
bring it down this way. Do I have a station I can steal from? There we go. Something like this, perhaps? Yes. That's the wrong way around. That's in the wrong place. How dare you. Right about here? It's one off. It's fine. Let's do some signals. Like this. I think those line up. And we need some power poles down here. Still gonna need at least one more power pole. Alright, construction train. Get yourself over here. Wait indefinitely. It's so slow compared to the new trains. But it doesn't have far to go. I forgot to give it uh, huge storage tanks and pumps, apparently. And... Which way? Probably over here. These two... Maybe this way. Um, okay, so we need pumps and huge storage tanks and pipes. We've got them. Pump, huge, pipe. Right. Yep, we're good. storage tank. Alright. Construction train. Go back home. And then come back here when you're done. And wait for inactivity. Also, this uh, is not completely empty. We've got 20,000 crude oil here, actually. So let's arrange for a train to pick it up. And with any luck, that'll result in another rocket launch. Also, it's just as well we got Immersite core fragments going, because we've been missing out on the extra Immersite from this planet as well. That's weird. Why do we have 136 glass in that last step? Oh, because this is unfiltered. Fair enough. Not gonna worry too much about that. Hey, we're here! And I'm getting off just in time. And let me check, this has the set requests, fantastic. And on the memory cell... Uh, well, it's going to wait until it's ready to launch, right? We need... We need the bots to stop moving. Oh, which they never are, because they're hovering like this. Okay, I'm just going to put some... Some ammo in here. 
Let me just double check the outposts should still have way more cables and stuff than they need, even though we've been a bit slow. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem. And get rid of that extra wire. Ship's already left, actually. Uh, let's double check that it's doing what we want it to. Iron Hauler 3. Anchor to Hagen Orbit. I think I remember having a similar problem. Input signals iridite. Oh no, that's probably normal. Do we have an iron hauler that's on its way out? We do. Hmm. I think this is probably just the same problem we've had when we're adding a new ship. Maybe? Let's see. Hello, how difficult is it to pass Crastorio 2 plus SE? Um, hard for me to say, because I was already pretty good at Factorio when I tried it. Shock enough, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, I want to witness what this does, because we, I, I fully expect this one to be working, but... But, but, but... Oh, I think I know what it is. Wait, no. How is it that... Okay, we need to look now. Nope, that's our old hauler. This one's still unloading, I think. Alright, so it's got its destination set, and off it goes to Pulsol Orbit, as expected. On the memory cell, there's just the destination, uh, the O signal, the zero signal for some reason, which isn't really a problem. Um, the set requests for the uranium fuel cells, and time one for some reason, but that's not a problem either. How on earth did we get... How on earth did we get no destination? On this thing. Moon orbit 1.1k. Hagen orbit. 1180. Wait. Did I... Did I set that wrong somewhere? I feel like I remember setting something to... Like, 1800? 1180... Uh, 1180. No, I think we're fine. Okay. I'm just going to try landing it. Thank you to Hagen Orbit. Okay, so memory cell is clear. And it's probably just waiting on some ion stream before it reports that the ship is ready again. Because we just wasted a bit moving around. And now it's trying to launch, but we don't have a destination. Why is it trying to launch without a destination? 
Oh. Did I only fix that in one clip? Yeah, it's because of the iridite signal, I believe. Uh, if anything greater than zero outputs spaceship launch, we start the timer. Uh, if the ship is ready to launch. Um, and I think there's an iridite signal here. But... I thought we had the same problem before, but we made it so that that doesn't go through. Did I just do this part wrong? No? No, it should be... It should be impossible, but... Oh. I didn't set this channel. Then where is that iridite signal coming from? Oh, these are all set to default. This is transmitting to here. I'm surprised we didn't get worse behavior. Okay. So... This needs to be set to a uh, specific dispatch signal. This one needs to be set to ready ships. And this one needs to be set to central dispatch. Unfortunately, blueprints don't save these things. Did you set the destination orbit ID correctly for aerodyne? I believe so, yes. All right, now it should work. Anchor. All right, memory cell is clear, except for set request for uranium fuel cells. Um, once, once again, uh, once we pump in enough, ion stream will get the last ready signal. Um, which is already happening. Ship's about to launch, and it looks like it's got the right destination. Let's see. Corsol orbit. Cool, cool, cool. So we've now got three ships, effectively. Um, I mean, they're, they're all generic for their destination, but they're all running Corsol because that's the first signal we receive. EBH looks like someone needs to make LSN. That's basically what this is uh, This is emulating. Yeah, so we had a similar problem with the last uh, destination where we'd end up with the one raw emesite signal on the memory cell of the ship. Or more importantly, it had come through here, which would cause the ship to launch. Um, which is why I added this layout here, where we say, um, if Holmanite equals one, pass everything through, and then if Holmanite equals zero, pass everything through, and here we've just got a negative one Holmanite, so that way we remove the one Holmanite, um, we pass everything through if Holmanite equals one, except for one Holmanite. Um, that was necessary for that reason, but here it happened just because I didn't set the channels, so we were just transmitting from here straight to here, so we ended up with one iridite being detected by this thing. Just less fault tolerant? You try making it. Alright, we need more ships. How many floors do we have here? Uh, zero. That's cool. No, wait, the other thing. Not cool. Bad, actually. Very bad. Um, I am going to temporarily disable Corsol making requests. And I'm going to do that just by saying if this equals negative one, which it never will. So, let me just put a little something 
to remind myself that this is where I made a little change so that this wouldn't work. Don't worry, my brain melts looking at all those. I never really got into them other than, like, the limits for basic trains. Not LTN, haven't even used it. LTN is... Uh, there's a learning bump, but once you know it, it's easy. If I only had a minute to tell you how to use LTN, my biggest tip by far is go to the mod settings, read them, change them. Because if you make certain reasonable assumptions and don't change any of the, the defaults, uh, it's going to set traps for you. Or it has traps set for you. What was I coming back? Oh yeah, I remember. I need to make that train. Um, by which I mean... I need to give it some solar panels. And some electric mo that's the wrong train. Electric motors. Fantastic. Now we steal some fuel. And confirm that it works. Let's go pick up some core fragments. You'd think with vanilla, with its static schedules, that you could name trains. But, alas. And once we get refueled... It's not even quite getting to half a second of inactivity. And that's only with fast inserts. Damn, that acceleration, though. Oh, destination full? We didn't actually get either one of these stations. Wait, what? This should be active. Oh. Craftily hidden. Just one more signal type I had to change. Do trains have power generation in their equipment grid? Uh, do they still need fuel? Yes, they do. This just, other than giving it more acceleration, uh, this reduces how much fuel we consume when we do accelerate. By a not insignificant margin, actually. Hence I go to the trouble of doing this. Because those batteries, without doing these shenanigans, uh, the power packs really do not last long. Um, but yeah, there's our erudite core fragments. We'll need to do the same thing as we did up here. So that not every core fragment is dropped off on the same side. Uh, and I might want to redo this so that we're not doing two production steps in the same block at some point. That's going to go there, that's going to go there, and we're going to set train limit uh, to core fragment iridite. Oh. And here comes our train again, already. I mean, yeah, it is quite a few train loads. What was it, like 50,000 or something? No, 18,000. Uh, 18,000 and something or other. Um, divided by 20 times 100. Uh, about 9... 
It's more than nine trainloads of erudite core fragments that the spaceship brings on one trip. And that's only the Mark 1 spaceship. Oh, 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 one. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Master of my fate. Welcome also. Is, what time is it for me? Uh, it's like 7 p.m. Or do you mean how, how old the save is? Uh, 19 and a half days. I really like the space trains. They look amazing. Yeah, I love the speed as well. Why are we not dropping off on the other side? Because we don't have that many core fragments on this side yet. That's fair. How much can we deal with here? Uh, 16 core fragments per second. That's nowhere near enough. Once the spaceships actually keep up with the... Um, uh, with the outpost that we've got now. Gonna need to just about double it. Beautiful railway system? Thank you. And up we go. Down we go. Wait, we're still dropping off on the same side? What did I set this to? 6,000. Uh, maybe I should just set that lower? It's fine. We know that nine train loads are coming. And more importantly, uh, we've got enough... 160, that's a bit much. Uh, we've got enough crushed erudite to trigger a train delivery. Fantastic. We can finally get some iridium ingots again. It's been literally 10 hours. Alright. I think I want to redo this though. Break it up into two blocks. Because the ratio is going to change uh, whenever our modules change. Right then. Um, more importantly, I need a bunch of girders so we can get some spaceship floor. That is not that many, but I think spaceship floor isn't that expensive. Oh, it's aeroframe bulkheads. I think they're dependent on iridite, though. It's actually aeroframe scaffold right now. Um, which is not looking so good. Don't tell me we haven't been getting barrel. No, I know we've been getting the others. Barrel ingot. Um, it's been pretty consistent. Albeit slow. Good evening. Devil's Dandruff. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, can I like... I, I think I'm just going to steal a bunch of... Uh, scaffold to go over here. And well, fantastic. Oh, we might actually have a bunch of these upstairs already. Just not enough to trigger a train delivery. 
Alright, let's have a look. We have 635. I think we need four times as many to make 635 floor. Yeah, we do. That's nowhere near enough. We need 400, uh, 400 and change to make a spaceship. I was wondering if you're able to make this series as a playlist on YouTube. Uh... I'm a bit behind on uploading VODs to YouTube, but I do put them there eventually. Oh, I forgot I stopped this. Um, that doesn't help. I don't know if this is going to be a train load or not, though. I wish to just play all and pause at will, fair enough. That's fair, I guess. Alright, are we actually going to fill this train? I doubt it. I very much doubt it. Yeah, we're already out of um, scaffolding. I know you upload, but I like your, like your only series, you have no playlist available. Okay, I'll look into that. Alright, we'll take whatever we've got here, unless it's still nowhere near enough. Um, What did we say? We had 600 something, so this is now like 1400, 1500. Still not enough for a spaceship, bloody hell. Didn't we only have Ixorion for barrel? in this system. I mean, we've got Achilles, but it's a very large planet full of biters. We can't deal with that just yet. Uh, even so, I think... I think the tiny planet... If we make a space elevator and tap every single mine, it's going to be a big, 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 big improvement to throughput. Also... Um, no, raw, Emersite would still be a higher priority. I haven't really thought much about a prioritization system. It would be a bit tricky to implement. I guess we can compare how much we've got in all of the requester chests for the drop-offs. And... I, there are a set of combinators, it takes like nine combinators to get the maximum. We could pick that one instead of... Instead of using the any signal. Well, I'd have to do both. It's a lot. Do I have enough stuff in the construction ship? Uh, no, I'm missing a whole lot of... Space platform plating. Let's take it out of the... Uh, scaffolding train. I just had to impose this on myself. Where I'm making spa space platform plating before we can really afford it. Alright, how many girders do I have lying around? Uh, about two. Seems good. Let's take this to space. And if necessary, I'll pick up some girders here manually. How much have we got? Uh, almost a train load. It should deliver automatically. Once we get a train load of girders over here, 
Um, we should get 5,000 space platform plating. We need about 6.2k, I believe. How much have we got? Um, 835, it's a start. Do we have a train on the way now? We are about to... Actually, not quite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just drop this down. Whoa, gotta be careful. That's probably not... Oh, we're fine, actually. Wait, how many extra stacks did we have? Uh, nine. Alright, so I can definitely drop these down to 110. Without controlling, pushing from the back to the front. Assuming the stack size is 50. Or larger. Larger, I could surely go 105. Damn. Yeah, we really do need those speed modules in here. So we needed how many? Like 5,000 more? Where's my blueprint? Um, 6.2k, yeah. Oh, and then, and then some. A little bit more, actually. Can't see the exact number, unfortunately. So let's just make the 3150 each. Okay, so we need about... 3,000, uh, 5,000 more or so before we can make a new outpost. That's not what I was looking for. We do already have 4.3k girders here, so we're going to almost make it. Do I have any more up here? I have 10. <laughs> Uh, we probably have a bunch of plate and ingot, though. 1.9k plate, 1.6k girders. What is this? Spaceship 21, one entity is destroyed. Which one's Spaceship 21? They're still moving, though. Oh, is it this one? Yeah, it is. Great, we need to rescue one of our ships as well. Okay, what's the top speed of our haulers? Oh. So it happened in the asteroid belt. Cat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome Raiders, Professional Dave, Soulburn, good to see you again. We've come to scratch your furniture and sit on your lap, indeed. How's your stream? I need to go rescue this ship, but also Iron... Oh, that's actually Iron Hauler 1 that got wrecked. Uh, we need to tell these other two... I was going to say we need to tell the other two to go slower, but we're running off of speed signals based on the accumulator charge. I don't suppose I could just... Nope, I need energy science pack 3. To increase our DACA there. Hmm... Uh, I guess... Uh, 
I guess we just won't circuit control it for now. No, we need a speed signal to make it automatically start when it takes off. God damn it. I could add a constant here, so when the accumulator charges are full... Um, that just made us put more fuel in, didn't it? I could add a constant so that when the accumulator charges are full, our target speed is lower. That means we're just going to go slower all the time, though. Multiply speed signal by 0.75 or something? Yeah, I want to do it in a way where I don't have to physically go to the ships, if possible. To patch them. That way you get full speed outside of asteroid belts. Yeah, I could always... Like, I could always do... D times negative one output speed signal. That that would uh, that would actually be perfect. Um, except I'd have to go to the ships to make that happen. Well, we're gonna have to go to one of the ships regardless. Let's do that now. Um, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we've got tons of... pulse stress. That's not going to be a problem. All the one... Watch. D signal heart, <laughs> indeed. So we're just going to... Oh, a cargo rocket has done cargo rocket things. Alright. We're just going to multiply D. Coming from this red wire. Or it could be a green wire, doesn't matter. And then green, green wire to here. Actually, we could use the red wire. Either or. Four seconds. Alright. Board Iron Hauler 1. I think I have to tell Iron Hauler 1 to stop as well. Iron Hauler 3 is back as well. How about I tell it to stop right next to this lot? Stop. Alright. And Iron Hauler 1 also stop, even though it's barely moving. Oh, the speed is actually zero. Yeah, 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 because it's broken. But we're going to tell it to stop anyway, because we don't want it to start moving the nanosecond that we fix it. And here we're just going to say... D times negative one output speed signal. Wait, wouldn't that mean... Okay, so our maximum is 200 speed signal from the accumulators. So if we go through a double dense asteroid belt, uh, it's going to set the speed to zero. We don't have one of those around, but that wouldn't be a very good... generic way to do things. I won't need to do it like this once we've got the laser upgrade, but still. Is that an extra Logibot? Uh, where? Hmm. Hmm. I could do it this way instead. Decider, constant. Constant is negative x speed. And... 
if D greater than 100, output speed signal input count. Speed signal negative 150. Um, and these things are linked to the accumulator charge as speed signal, but as long as we don't use green wire to connect to this, it should be fine. So we can just put that there. And then... Grab our D signal from there. So because we're in the asteroid field, uh, we're outputting... Negative 150 watt... Oh, it output... Oh, it gets the speed signal from here as well... Oh, no. That makes it more complicated. Do you have any Spidertron captains? I do not. Oh, why are you like this? Alternatively, I could just... No, no, I already went through this. I can't just not use the speed signal because we have to have a speed signal here. So that the ship automatically starts moving when it automatically takes off. Hmm... Why did it have to output speed here as well, so it makes it a, like a memory cell, make a loop? Well, I guess all we have to do actually is adjust for it, right? Let's see. If we're, if we're at our maximum speed, like 90, slightly under 90... And we go through asteroid field. If D is greater than 100, output speed signal input count. We're going to be getting 200 from these two if they're full up here. We need our target speed to be, honestly, probably like 70 is way slower than slow enough. Um, so 200 plus whatever our actual speed is here. Which means it would be 290 when we're going 90. We need it to be 70. So minus 220? Is that going to be a problem at different speeds? Let's say we're going 80. Uh, negative 220 plus 80. It's negative 140, so 200 from here, our target speed is going to be 60. Yeah, our target speed is going to just approach zero. As we slow down, our target speed is going to reduce as well. Uh, set the speed signal with a combinator and use a decider to output minus if... No, that's what I that's what I was doing, uh, Trotsky. The problem is. The problem is that we get a speed signal from here as well. Unless I want to add a combinator just to separate out the D signal. Which is it's far more than we should need. Yeah, see I have a negative speed signal on this. And I have if D greater than X, output speed signal input count. The problem is we're also getting our speed signal from up here. Skull signal? What? That doesn't help anything. Um, if we could only use decimals, I could easily just use a single arithmetic combinator here. Um, I could say D times negative... 
0.5 or something. Output as speed signal. Or if I had another... If I had another accumulator, so our target speed was higher than 200? Or 300? Hmm... I could... Try this with some artificial D constant. So, what if we had like negative 50 D? Or negative 100 D? D times negative 1 output speed signal. That's going to be lots. But if D was 200, which it is right now. Oh no, that's going to be effectively zero between these two. Uh, if D is 200, then the total is D100. So then we've got negative 100 speed signal, so our target speed is 100. That's still a bit too high. Let's change that to, like, negative 50. Um, so the net here is D150. Negative 150 speed signal, our target speed, if this is full, would be 50. I think that works. And we can, we can just offset it however much we want. So let's say... Negative 40? No, negative 60. So if D is 200... We get negative 140 speed, our target speed would be 60. And if it's D is 300 minus 60, uh, 240 times negative 1, our target speed would be negative 40. Okay. It's not going to work in dense asteroids. Um, but we don't need it to... This is only until we get upgraded lasers. Surely there's a way I can math it out to not use many combinators and make this work. If I just used one more decider, I could do it the way I was about to. Can't really fit one. I think use two combinators and one constant. I just find it so cringe that it's necessary to have that many. Speed over D? Um... Speed signal is already going straight here, and we can't mess with that. Speed over negative D? Doesn't change it enough. I just need it to be like minus 10 speed if D is 200. And for it to scale, pref preferably for it to scale into D300 and slow it down a bit more. I have a constant set to 20,000 skull. I use speed over D and that makes a skull symbol. Yeah, I'm just trying not to add like two more combinators just for this one little piece of logic. I just had to output the speed signal here. When would I ever want to read the speed from the ship? I already know what speed we're trying to go. Like, when would I need to, with combinators, check the 
actual speed. just need another combinator. I hate this, but that's how it's got to be. D times one, output D. And then speed signal. Uh, if D is greater than 100, output speed, input count, constant speed, negative 20. You can read the accumulator for power draw to infer rocks? Yeah, I do. Oh, you guys are f Wouldn't take this many devices to do such a simple thing. The moment we get better lasers, we're getting rid of this. Um, and that needs to go on the red wire to influence our speed. Shields close? What do you mean? Alright. So we've separated the D signal. We're not getting the speed signal here from the console. Uh, we have a constant negative 20, which we output if D is greater than... Well, it's going to be more than negative 20. We need to set our target speed to, like, 70. So... Negative uh, 130. Assuming the accumulators are full. Science to shields very far off. I'm not going to be updating these ships. They're done. The design is done. They fit with uh, our standardized docks. Alright, I guess that's it. Gonna have to add this to the other spaceships. And I'll just put that here for the moment. Alright, I need to go back to... I need to target the construction ship and then change this back to... Hagen Orbit. Which one was it? I think we're going to be able to tell. It's not this one. Am I not going to be able to click on it? Alright, I'm pretty sure it was... Oh, there we go. Iron Hollow 1. Uh, I need to board Iron Hollow 1. Actually, I don't have to be able to click on it. Oh, there is a random Logibot here. What the hell? What are you doing? What? Now I can't pick him up. Oh, my... <laughs> uh, that was dumb. I didn't need to do that. I did, in fact, need to click on the ship. So that I can change its destination. Let's do it the easy way this time. Ion Hauler 1. Back to Hagen Orbit. Engage. Target speed is 70. 
perfect. And then we need to go to construction, uh, iron hauler three rather. Which is just a second away. We board. We add the same ugly little patch. And that should be it. Construction ship. I wonder where our other ship is. Um, Ion Hauler 3. Back to Hagen Orbit, please. Alright, where's Hauler number 2? In all of this. Where is Hauler number 2? Oh, it's back at base. What's it doing? It is still getting refueled, so it probably just got here. Yes. So is it going to get assigned? Or... Oh wait, I think the pumps are going to look like they're... Pumping at full speed, even if they can barely squeeze anything else in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, apparently... Wait, was that it? Nope. What is Iron Hauler 1 doing? Oh, it's waiting for its turn to stop. Okay, well, no, that's good, actually. Let's go back to Hagen Orbit. And... It it sounds like this outpost isn't reporting effectively. Should be. Yeah, no, it's reporting. Central dispatch. Um... Oh, I haven't set this... That's why I haven't set this uh, address yet. I forgot that was a thing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're going to leave it like that until we fix the ship that's already docked. Give it that temporary speed patch. The number of combinated needed, combinators needed is madness. Yeah, I work pretty hard to keep that number down. Going for a trip on his favorite rocket ship? Indeed. Yeah, the trouble is this is uh this is one of those situations where we did test it pretty thoroughly, but very occasionally the ships will fail to get through an asteroid field with the current setup. All right, so output goes to there and then this goes to the input. That's all. And then we need to set, uh, let's see, planet orbit 683. If planet orbit equals 683, let all the signals through here. And then if there's more core fragments than whatever's on signal 1 on the memory cell, why is it at negative 18k? They're both negative. Okay, well, we know where our, our ships are, thankfully, so let's just blank that. Um, but yeah, that's, uh... That is now looking for a ship. So the next ship, when this one takes off, it should go to get uh, Iridite Core Fragments. I missed the K2 nuclear, so much better, indeed. 
Is there a possibility laser damage upgrade to research? I need to do four tech cards before I can do that. I'm trying to get Iridite flowing before that happens. take a little while. You know, with the slower bots, I don't know if these chests are that good of an idea. Alright. Ship is actually not ready to launch yet? Oh, it's because the bots are still moving. There we go. And away it goes. Let's check the destination. Iron Hauler 1 is headed to Stromhurst Orbit. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. So, now we need to copy this. Blueprint this thing. Uh, temp. Fringe, bad, and wrong ship. Perfect. Until we upgrade lasers. Um, how many more ships can we make? Hopefully one more. We have zero spaceship floor. Because we haven't moved... Uh, Aeroframe bulkheads yet? We've only got 635. We can make 158 floors. We've also got... Um, maybe a thousand? That's going to be almost enough. That's irritating. Can we get some scaffolds over here? We literally have no scaffolds. Now. Oh, I see. Oh, that is way higher than it needs to be. What is the map autosave size? Uh, as in the file size? I'm not sure. This should be to make scaffold. Yes, it is. Fantastic. Pardon me. And let's go. How fast does this happen? 63 per second. That's pretty fast. Beautiful when it's actually working. Alright, so once we have some scaffolding here... How much did I actually drop off? One train load is... Oof. It's mostly aeroframe pole. Okay. We do get a prod bonus, but... Uh, without that, we would get 1250 scaffolding. 1.32 times. 16.50 scaffolding. Um, is that enough? Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's enough for, for our current needs. Alright, let's do this thing again. Stealing from ourselves all the time. I need to delete this stop as soon as it's done. Don't forget to add a condition, otherwise the train will just fly straight through it. Okay. 
fantastic. How long is that going to take? Like two seconds? Go through 40 of these per second. So about literally like 30 seconds or so before it's time to deliver these. How are our ships doing? Iron Hauler 2 is also on its way to Stromhurst Orbit. Iron Hauler 3. Same thing. How far away are they? About that far away. Cool, cool, cool. It's probably overkill slowing them down by 20 when the asteroids get denser, but I don't care. Um, there's hardly... I'm pretty sure this is the only asteroid, like, denser asteroid field that they're going through. There might be an invisible one here somewhere, actually, because we haven't uh, scanned it yet. Um, but yeah, back to the construction ship. We were trying to prepare... Uh-oh. No more scaffolding. Uh, we were trying to prepare to make a barrel. I don't know if I should go for barrel or erudite. We did just massively increase our erudite. Yeah, I think we should go to barrel, uh, go to Exorion, make a space elevator. Update this whole planet to have just our modern outpost. That maximize barrel from that planet. That's going to be a big help. Then we can start making spaceships a lot faster. Do you barrel mine the asteroid belt? I haven't yet. Because it's a big pain. Uh, so, we should now have... A lot more... About 2,000. We can definitely make a spaceship with this. Let's head up the elevator. And I don't believe it's going to be enough. Not even close. To trigger a delivery. But I'll just temporarily drop the provide threshold on this station. The train should be up the elevator by now. Oh, there it is. I guess I could have got it to skip the depot this time. I'm just going to wait till all of that flows in so that the LTN schedule tries to pick up all of it. Oh, is this full? No, not even close. It's just flowing in here twice as fast. Hi, yeah. Cool. What about our girders? Um, that is a pretty small number. 430. We're looking for... About 4,000. About 4,000. Well, we're slowly getting there, I guess. At least Iridite is actually getting made now. Oh, I might need to speed this up. Let's see. Um, 29 erudite per second versus, oh no, it's, I need to look at consumption of crushed erudite, 11.82 per second, but we're making slightly more than that. Okay, that's fine for the moment, I suppose. 
What's next? I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we were going to set this to... No, you haven't actually... 2.5 thousand... Is 50 stacks. Should be a train on its way. Why is there not a train on its way? Uh, maybe I should just grab it? Sure. I could steal girders from one of the drop-off stations. We should have quite a lot somewhere. Oh, and um, aeroframe scaffolds. If I want to take them back downstairs, which I probably don't. Alright, that's literally all of them. Uh, we have a whole bunch of girders here I could steal. We have a whole bunch of... that That's a lot, actually. Quite a lot of girders I could steal. Uh, we only need as many as we need space platform plating, so... What was it, 4,000 or so? Why did the... F Why did the oil have to crash on... our Iridium planet? Right when we needed all those girders, honestly. Did we actually get that working? Yeah, we did. Fantastic. Alright, do we actually have prod modules here? Uh, we're not going to need them that long. We don't have prod modules anyway, not any spare. But yeah, we've got another 751k crude oil to make liquid rocket fuel to send... Uh, iridite core fragments, not to mention some crushed emosite back. That's something at least. Which means beryl is much more of a problem than iridite, or soon will be. Hence, we are heading out to make this outpost. But I'm going to throw out one more spaceship before I do. Alright, gimme, 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 gimme. Pretty sure it doesn't matter if we imbalance this. Actually, with how? No, it wasn't that full. Alright, how many girders do we have here? Uh, 2,500. Damn it, I, I think I'm almost carrying enough. To get our space platform plating for another outpost. All right, what about spaceship floor? Uh, I'm actually already carrying 150. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting there. And... Plating. We've got 3k. And 2.2k girders. Yeah, we need like 800. I don't suppose we've got some here? Not really. Let's just go steal again. Let's use a train to get there. Since they are very, 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 very fast. And I could actually use the storage from the train as well, actually. Wait until... 
for some condition that not be met. There we go. Uh, it was a lot faster. It's probably all the girders from this area. Pretty much. Steel from here as well. Fantastic. Off with the loot. And that'll push us way over the edge um, to get our plating. How fast is this exactly? Uh, 136 per minute. That's a bit slower than I was expecting. So, we need... Uh, about 3,000. 19 minutes? Oh, we do have these two shouting it out as well. That's not that different. This thing is... <laughs> these are doing like nothing compared to this thing. 18 per second between the two of them. This one's doing 136 per second. Alright, let's focus on building a spaceship then. That's the big boy? Yeah, and it's got some big boy modules in it as well. Uh, how much power do we have to spare? Like a gigawatt? Let's live dangerously. So now we're looking at 2.04 per minute. About 10 minutes. Rich in resources with them? With, with which? As in the speed nines? I haven't had a single prod nine yet. I, I think I've had one efficiency module, maybe? And the rest have been speed modules from the pyramids. Uh, that is... How many of these do we have? 1891. I'm pretty sure we have way more than Except I kind of need all of the spaceship floor to start the spaceship. 100, 200, almost 300. I need about 500. No, 418 to make one of these. God damn it. It's so slow, too. 10 seconds base crafting speed for one spaceship floor. So we need another 118, I think it is. That's actually like three minutes. Ugh. Alright. really fit another one. Unless I... Ooh, I, for, I forgot for the last time. We got some railgun ammo. Amazing. And some impulse rifle. Beautiful. Let's also grab some Tesla gun. Should probably set that as... Where, where's my cursor? Should probably set that as part of my personal requests. Uh, 
There it is. Exactly one step. Exactly one step. And exactly one step. Fantastic. Alright. Just about another minute. And we can make spaceship. Let's grab nuclear reactors. Meme accumulators. Intensive turbine, heat exchanger, ion. Where, where did it go? Over here. Uh, don't we need four iron chips? Pretty sure. That's not what I was trying to do. I think they're all chasing each other, more or less. That's a lot of erudite coming back. Delicious. I'd better make another block to process erudite at this rate. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's four ion booster tanks. Um, I'm gonna need one of these. Need some of these. We've got them. Need a spaceship clamp. I've already got some. And hardly any doors. That's more than enough wall. One of these. One of these. And two of these. I do believe that's everything. Uh, we might need something I've forgotten from the construction ship, which is actually already down there. We should probably park it up here, since the ships are going to be using the other drop-off. Alright, taxi. Make haste. there. Down we go. And once again it's messed up all the wires. Ship should be just about good to go though. We need to manually give it its huh. Huh. That must have been lucky timing. The way we got this information on the memory cell. With the way the ship was built. Alright, we got water, we got iron stream, we've got uranium fuel cells. We need to start this thing warming up. And that's our new ship. Iron hauler 4. I just leave it here? Will it auto launch? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Wasn't it just the uranium that was the problem? That I had to do something manually when I first launch one of these? OK, 
updating. Does it say it's ready to launch? It is trying to launch. Let's see where it goes. It is going to Stromhurst Orbit. Seems to be working. Of course, it would help if it launched after it had warmed up. But as long as the lasers can shoot down things before that happens, that should be fine. Okay, we now have four ships going back and forth. Um, how full... Oh, they haven't gotten back yet. Iron Hauler 2. ETA to drop off. Right, core fragments is less than 90 seconds. Um, I wonder if I could actually reactivate that other one yet. Regardless, let's head back to the mall. And I should have taken this one, actually. And we should have... Hopefully... We're getting pretty close. We need less than a thousand more space platform plating, I think. Got plenty of girders. And we've got 204 per minute coming in. So, less than five minutes. Cool, cool, cool. How am I holding this much spaceship floor? I just made a ship. Uh, okay. I guess we'll make another one. Absolutely. That's fine. Uh, I might be a little bit short on wall. I send fish up and got... Dolphin guns back? Wait, what? Is this Terraria? Just started my first rocket in this mod pack. Nice. Which planet is next? Uh, I'm going to modernize Exorion. Our first outpost where we got barrel. We're not gonna we're not gonna be using cargo rockets for this one anymore. And I'm gonna be able to pack up all of this mess. Which is gonna take a little while, but I'd still like to do it. Uh, there's going to be nothing left on the planet except for the space elevator in the middle and some rail connecting to all of the core mining drills. How many reactors are supposed to run in the ships? Uh, one at a time, basically. The other one acts as a like a heat battery so that we don't waste as much uranium fuel. 700 left. Um, I wonder if... Kinda wish I hadn't built in the middle of Exorion. Because that's where I want to put the Spellvader. It's gonna be harder to build things the way I want to right away. You are suffocating. Ruh row. Um, I already got rid of my bad life support. Let's go down the elevator real quick. Albion Lane, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Jurg, welcome, welcome. Also. And apparently we're automatically trying to go to the mall, which is where I want to go anyway. Alright. Give me some life support. And then... Pop back in the train. Up the spell elevator we go. And if 
if I can ever click on this train again. Okay. Remove the spell evader from the schedule. Fantastic. Should probably equip some of this life support. What do I sacrifice though? Should last twice as long now. Alright. One, two, three. I need more before I can make another ship, actually. Almost there. Just about another minute. Okay, so here's my current little conundrum. If I'm going to put a spell evader at zero, zero. That's going to be about here. I'm going to have to remove this roundabout. I guess that's not that big of a conundrum, actually. Things are going to have to stop for a little while. Oh, I am mining barrel as well. From this planet. We're sending it back on this rocket. So why is it so slow? I guess we don't have this beacon. It's not prod moduled either though. 6.375 barrel per second. That's pretty slow. Okay. It's going to be good to not have to send solid rocket fuel here. Not that we've really felt the cost of that in terms of rocket fuel, so much as more cargo rocket sections. Alright. It's time. Well, it's actually not time. We're not there yet. Is this already sat satisfied? Yes, it is. That's it. Alright, to Exorion we go. To make our third standardized outpost. Crimson Curse. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good evening. ETA should be like a minute or two. Yes, fantastic. Oh, haulers have been dropping off iridite again. So how much have we got here now? Uh, I think the answer is yes. I think we're good for iridite for a while. And actually it might be more urgent than I thought to increase... Uh, our rate of processing it, as opposed to providing it. Um, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that at least for a few minutes, we can re-enable um, re this outpost. That should equal zero, right? Yes. Alright, ETA, 20 seconds. Uh, I think now we can go ahead and clear a path for the space elevator. Hopefully no trains are going to get stuck forever. We're not going to be able to do a whole lot regardless. Is that going to still be powered if I cut this off? 
We'll soon find out. I need to stop sending water ice here. I think I've got one rocket supplying multiple planets for ice, so I just have to change this to not anything. Where's our ice rocket? I think this is it. Any landing pad with name ice. Okay, cool. uh, we need to anchor away from zero zero, actually. Or, let's see. Exorion orbit. GPS equals zero comma zero comma Exorion orbit. Did I do it right? I did it right. Fantastic. We're going to put our elevator blueprint here. I already can't see where it goes. Cannot build on empty sp... Oh, I, had, I think I had to shift click anyway. But possibly I also have to explore this first. So is that zero zero? That looks pretty good. Yep, I th think that was right. I think that was right. Uh, which means we'll anchor our ship up here. And down below... whoops. How long is this run? Uh, kinda long. Almost 20 days. Alright. There's a single... a single chain signal. Uh, is the reason we couldn't place the spell elevator. Let's try again. Fantastic. Alright, let's put some construction bots in here. And I'll grab the scaffolding myself. Much more efficient. Actually, I should place a bunch of it without bots. For starters. Or 50 plus hours, nice. Yes, indeed. Uh, give me more scarf. Uh, I should make more room in my inventory. Let's put the spaceship things here. I was gonna say, oh no, I forgot to... Bots, please. I was gonna say, oh no, I forgot to um, build that spaceship, but I forgot we didn't have enough floor. For a while. One off. Fantastic. This is obviously a lot more scaffolding. Oops. I'll let the bots do that. And... 
away we go. Any thoughts on what they possible on what they could possibly add in the DLC? Hmm. I definitely want them to take some lessons from certain mods and stuff, but other than that, I would more hope to see something new. You know, add some quality of life and some toys and stuff. But honestly, I don't have any ideas or expectations. Almost there. And we can let the bots do the rest. DLC will be SE 1.0. <laughs> Indeed. Boggles, Crimson and Curse, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's grab some space platform plating as well. Finish the scaffolding. Finish the scaffolding. Finish the scaffolding. There we go. Rest. Should probably have turned my robocord off first. Did I just mess that up? No, I don't think so. And that should be all we need. We do count this stuff carefully. Am I running out of bot energy? Surprisingly, not even close. What the hell? Oh, yes we are. Yeah, because they weren't recharging yet. Okay. Stop. There we go. Now we can place the blueprint properly. Just for now. Can we make this a construction? Oh, they don't actually have the rubber quartz, I don't think. Actually, they should do. Yeah, they they do have rubber quartz. You can see it right there. They just don't prioritize well. We should see all of this get built with no further action. I need 
need a 4 by 4 Oh, it should be in the construction ship, actually. Alright, this is set to central clock. This is set to... Um, is it central dispatch? I think it's central dispatch. Yeah, central dispatch. Uh, this needs that little update. I didn't actually update the blueprint yet. It's gonna look something like this. Why didn't I just move these down? Type of core fragments are we here? Barrel. If barrel core fragment equals zero, output time. So if we're not saturated at barrel back at the drop off, let the time signal through. Uh, we've already used five to. Is it five to ten? We've used, I think, 0 to 5 and 5 to 10, or something like that. If signal is less than 5, then we've done 6 to 10 on the next one, I think. Greater than or equal to 5? No, 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 no. Greater than 5, less than or equal to 10. That could have caused some problems if we were unlucky with the timing. Come to think of it, with the way the memory cell works, probably not, but it's still a mistake. Alright, so this one's going to be uh, greater than 10, less than or equal to 15. And I'll just check... Yeah, our clock is going much higher than that. Alright, we need to change all of these core fragments to barrel. Uh, what's our address here? Exorion is... Moon... 1000? Moon orbit 1001. Moon orbit 1001. Fantastic. Um, this should be home base, right? Oh, I keep forgetting. Shift N. There we go. Yeah, that should be home base. Um, what's the ID for barrel? It should be the same as Erudite minus 2. Let's... yeah, yeah, yeah. Or plus 1 from the Immersite Cave. Let's just copy from the Immersite Cave. And add 1. Fantastic. Um, up here, this should be core fragment barrel, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be home base as well. Not that we need both of them, we need one or the other. Unless we're going to arbitrarily change when we're going via the anomaly. But I'd still like to leave that template there. Or fragment barrel. Oh, the colors are kind of similar. I need to be careful. Make 
sure I do these in chunks so that it's uh, not easily missed. This will be outpost for signal 3. And come to think of it... No, wait, I think I did remember this. That's probably how we ended up with those negatives. Let's see. If it's this ID, S equals 0. Or S, change signal S to signal 0. If it's this ID, number 1. Okay, cool. Um, we ended up not using the timer stuff here at all. So that goes down here. Circuits are no one's strong suit. You just fumble through until you figure it out. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we haven't messed up our central memory cell. Signal 1, negative 74k. That sounds kind of messed up. Um, that, that sounds kind of a lot messed up. So we're still doing Iridite here. And... Number two. Where's number two? Oh, number three, rather. If I go that route, I'll end up in the same situation as the monkey with the typewriter. But what if you compose a beautiful, beautiful work of fiction? Um, that all looks like it's finished. I need to set this to accept barrel or fragments. That's generic. These two you need to say barrel or fragment. And that's about it, I believe. Oh, we already started running our space elevator. Whoops. It's fine. Have the monkeys finished Hamlet yet? Uh, 10,000 times over, I imagine. Okay, um, I still don't know why we ended up with the big negative number. Well, all of our hauler ships are coming back right now, so... There's definitely nothing outbound, therefore this memory cell should be empty. We'll keep an eye on it when the ships come back. Oh, I probably forgot to change... No, I did change it here. When launch is detected, grab the S input count, mem uh, pulse it, so one tick. If planet orbit equals this, change S to ID1. Should be about the same over here. Moon orbit 685. Planet Orbit 683. Pretty sure those are right. Moon Orbit 685, Planet Orbit 683. They are. So... Oh. Oh. I think I've been counting... Uh... No, this, this has our destination. I'm gonna have to have every single destination at every single one of these takeoff points. Because this one only counts if we're 
going to this destination and the other one only counts if we're going to this destination. That's why our memory cell is messed up. I think... Well, I should probably do something smarter to centralize it so we don't have to have all this repetition. Um, but yeah, we need to... Mm, no, this would be the best place to figure that out. I hate to say it, but I think I'm going to have to have two combinators per outpost, plus one, two, three, four, um, at each launcher here. So that when the ship launches, we check uh, what was its destination and change S to signal whichever accordingly. I love how you guys instantly got the reference. Had I said that in pretty much any other community, it would have hit a wall. Indeed. Something's wrong with my finger. Ouchie. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go about that. And it's kind of important, because it's... Well, I mean, I, I already said one way that we could solve it. I just don't like how many combinators it takes. But... We do have to keep track of how many ships are on their way to how many... Uh, on their way to which outposts. Jipyakun, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Cycling workout plus Tyrannosaurus X Factorio, perfect. Thank you. Hmm. Um... Is there a way to make a central HQ that monitors all signals? Yeah, we kind of are doing that. Alright, uh, I think I should focus a bit more on fixing throughput right now, though. I'll have to think about this one. For the moment, it's pretty easy to manually change which way the spaceships are going. Uh, but yeah, I can already ride this down. Let's get to work making our new rail system. And we're just going to do... I think I'll just copy this, actually. From Stromhurst. Longer than I thought it was. I need some vanilla train stops. They're in the spaceship. What else do I... Ah! What else do I need? And what are these bots doing? Are they construction bots? Probably. Um, what was I looking for? Vanilla stops. I'll worry about laying out the core drills in a minute. Um, what 
that's fine for the moment. Alright, where's the nearest coal mining drill? Here it is. What the? How do we end up with no drill here? Did we accidentally decon it? I guess. We need a longer station for this though. Well, you know what? Get rid of that drill for the moment, actually. So, probably the first... First one of these goes here. Let's grab that blueprint. Uh, and we probably want back left. Just like this. Um, there's a good trick here with even distribution. Not that there's that many core fragments this time. But if you just limit the chests, even distro won't put them back in there. And put this here. Get rid of the old stuff. Feels nice. Not gonna need oil production on this planet anymore. There's no oil left anyway. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that's cathartic. Get out of here. So much of this is becoming unnecessary. We're going to be able to simplify our outposts so damn much. That's pretty full of solid fuel. We'll wait on that one a little bit. I'm not even going to worry about 200k uh, heavy oil. It's just gone now. Actually, I should have turned those pumps around. I would have got that heavy oil back, like, ages ago, I mean, not now. Not worth it now. Gonna have some inventory trouble. I could have turned off my roboport, had the construction bots get rid of this stuff, somewhat. That's uh, not an insignificant amount of ice. I wonder how I'll go about fitting this one. Probably not with great difficulty, actually. Alright, let's go drop some stuff off in here. Not the rail. Gonna need the belt, but it's not a long trip.
So I could either have this turn around over here, put a mine here. I think that's probably the way to go. Something like this. Uh, that's a bit too close, actually. Let's go front left. Gonna have to remove this. There's a train trying to come. Too bad. about here. Oh. Right about here. Fantastic. Uh, robots go. Okay, I really wanted you to place this. Actually, that's that's the more important thing. Okay. and pull again. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Let's move our barrel down this way. Fantastic. Now put the old stuff. And that can just line up straight over there. already delivering that. Is there a way to make... Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Um... Need to get rid of all this mess. No trees and rocks. It's actually going to be a task getting all this stuff back to base. I can just use a ship or two, I guess. Empty construction ship has some decent uh, storage. Not quite as much as the haulers. So we're going to run... Uh, I think it's pretty clear where we're going to run... A rail here. Straight down the middle of these two. Probably. 
So this one will be front left, or oh, front right, right about here. Perfect. And this one, uh, front left, I guess. The individual stations don't see much throughput, so it's okay if we have a couple of stations in the one rail block, as in rail sector with signals. That'll be fine. Could build a sports spaceship? A sports spaceship? Oh, as in a fast one? The construction ship's already probably my fastest ship, actually. It goes about a hundred and just under a hundred and fifty. Although it can't land on surfaces, I do have this little thing to get around the solar system, including on any surface. Isn't it cute? Might be needing some more storage soon. What do I have for some random... Oh yeah, because I was going to build a spaceship. Obviously. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Up all the old crap. And to think this is like... This is all the old stuff I have to clean up when I deliberately kept it as small as possible. Or as small as I reasonably could. So much solid fuel. Maybe I should have put a smaller limit on it. Then again, this is the stuff that keeps the trains going. Of course I'd prefer to have a big buffer in case something goes wrong. And it did go wrong. We ran out of oil. That's the by far the worst container full of solids that we're going to have to deal with on this planet. A pair of them, even. Where are my construction bots? I do have them, they're just not taking priority over the ones in the robot network. Unless. Oh, we're out of energy? Well, there's your problem. This will go a bit faster if... 
I had more solar. Should probably check on the spaceships, huh? What is this one doing? It's waiting for its turn to drop off Iridite. So Iridite is saturated. So let's see if that part's working. Um, Iridite totally full, therefore sending Iridite signal of 1. Therefore, any Iridite outposts. Will not be... What? Central clock. Did I not set that? I, I probably forgot to set that. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. This needs to be set to central clock. Alright. So now... It would be very helpful if Blueprints would remember those settings. So now our Iridite Outpost, or any Iridite Outpost, should be not sending the time signal through. Therefore, we won't be sending a report back to Central from this outpost, therefore not requesting a ship. Cool, cool, cool. And currently it seems like... Uh, we've actually got at least half of our ships in motion. Two of them are waiting for erudite core fragments to be consumed. Uh, the other two? One is on its way to core soul orbit. That's excellent. And the other one's coming back to Hagen orbit. With even more erudite. Cool, cool, cool. Um, how fast is our erudite production? How is this not moving right now? I thought we calculated crushed erudite was net positive. And we've had core fragments saturated coming in here the entire time, right? Consuming 16 core fragments per second. Um, it's gone down for some reason, but... 1.2k per minute is 20 per second. That doesn't sound right. Oh, I'm looking at production. Production has dropped down. That makes sense. Uh, consumption looks very steady. Look at that. From zero to just this perfectly flat-ish, flat on average line. Uh, 946 per minute. is 15.77 per second uh, which sounds like this has never stopped although I would expect 16 per second so why if this thing net consumes 12 crushed iridite per second and this can make 12.62 Oh, we are very slightly bottlenecked on consuming iridite. That's why we're not consuming 16 core fragments per second. Okay. So what about ingots? Um, production's been dipping. Oh, that's consistent. Cool, cool, cool. So I've, over the last hour, 26.7 per minute. One stack of iridium ingots every two minutes. Um, that's honestly probably decent. Oh, wait, no. They stack to 20. They stack to 20. 
Um, so, like 1.4-ish stacks per minute? That's a start. It's not that bad for Iridite ingots, but we've got a lot of catching up to do. And I do mean a lot. To the point where I should probably go back there and increase the throughput of that stuff before I spend the time to finish this outpost. Maybe. But I really want to get barrel flowing as well. Cap limits on the other old outpost planets now? Limits on the other old outpost planets. It's preparation for their rebuilding. Um, I need to keep them running until I'm replacing them. Otherwise, who knows what's going to break. Alright, so this is just going to be one way, one way, one way, one way. Easy peasy. Or alternatively, I could put this here for the same effect. I guess that looks a little neater. Let's go down and finish this one. How many um, seams do we have on this map? Entity, Core Fragment, Iridite. Oh, this one doesn't work. Oh, this is Beryl. Beryl is the one that doesn't work as well, so we need to search for tags instead. Um, tag, Core Seam. There's 13 on the entire planet. We'll definitely be tapping all of them. How many do we actually have at the moment? Drills? Only four. So... Four is ten per second. Uh, which means... We get about five per second for the first drill. So we're probably looking at like 18 per second, because it's power of 2. Mm. 16 would give us 4 times uh, the first drill. So yeah, around 18 per second for this outpost, I think. And by far the closest bit of rail to this one is over here already. Let's just keep going. What if I go diagonally? That makes a lot of sense. Let's do that. And keep it going like this until... Maybe like that. Front right. Probably put this here. Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, there it is. Down we go.
So it's like 18 over 13. They should be about 1.3, 1.4 per second to each. Uh, the individual drills. So having all three of these in one signal sector really isn't going to be a problem. We need uh, 2,000 to fill a train. Wait, no. 4,000, because I do long trains uh, for these outposts. Let's go grab this rail. Oh good, a bunch of iron. Where is this going? To an old oil patch. My bots aren't going to be able to pick this stuff up. Don't destroy the cliffs. Not for no reason anyway. Nope. I should have seen that coming. I was scratching my back. Whoops. Rip cliffs. That's a lot of iron. Oh no. Um, I guess I can put it in here. Screw it. Why don't we smelt it? Smelt it all. Um, unconditional. There we go. I do have some room in here. There we go. And straight back down. This space elevator actually only needs just under two parts per minute. That's the base um, cost anyway. Could you not snake at the most distant thing that we're trying to deconstruct. Never mind. I suppose not. What are my bots doing? Oh, we've got no energy. I forgot. Up we go. Wait, I'm going a bit far there, aren't I? God, maybe orbital bombardment would have been preferable. It's fine. I should have set a limit on that train stop there. How do you pick them up? Do you mean the robots? Just like anything else. I've searched all of the internet and don't know. How do I pick them up? Do you mean like this? Or were you referring to something else? Read the words. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In we 
go. See more bots coming. Press right mouse button over them. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think my bots are tired again. Nope, they're just coming back. Or it could be both. Let's switch off the bots. Oh, they're still floating. Oh my god, it's still there. Oh, there's still so many. Oh no. Also, doesn't Beryl go here? But we don't have a requester chest. Because it wasn't supposed to go via the bots. What's that signal? Rocket ready to launch. Cargo rocket greater than zero. There we go. And then barrel goes in here. Fantastic. Do I not have a regular superior inserter? I guess not. I thought there would be more barrel. I haven't picked up that much yet. There's actually not that much. Okay, I guess we could use one of these rockets to send stuff back. I saw you have Rampant Calculator in your mod list. Is that related to the Rampant Biter mod? And does Rampant play nice with your mod list? Uh, I don't know what you mean by Rampant Calculator. Maybe I had a typo. It's supposed to be Rampant Comma Calculator? Or... Or what? Where is Rampant? Rampant Rate Calculator. Yeah, that's Rampant and Rate Calculator. I missed a comma, that's all. Um, Rampant plays nice with, a, with any mod list, but unfortunately I had to turn it off because after a while it just decided to have so many biters attack us at once on Nalvis that the UPS dropped from 60 to 10 to 15. Um, like pretty much instantly when we had no problems before that. I see, indeed. I don't think it was Rampant. I think it was Misanthrope a long time ago. I saw a streamer, you know, doing like a really, really hard death world run. But eventually it just got to the point where huge hordes of biters would mill around um, trying to group up at a random spot. But it's like, I guess there were too many of them to count as being in that place or something. Um, so you'd have like hundreds of biters in a sphere sort of bunched up trying to hit this, trying to move to this one spot and never actually attacking. And the UPS just went down, 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 down. What am I doing? Everything but trees and rocks, please. Uh, 
Uh, Zinda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Tile ghosts? Oh. I think my brain is turning into mush. More so than usual. It's been very hot here lately. It's gotten to the point where I think of 30 degrees as cool. Celsius. By the way, you can use Control X to remove only what you've built. Control X. Oh, true. As in cut. That's not going to include cliffs either. That'll override whatever you have stored in your clipboard. Yes, it will. But I don't have anything that I'm desperately holding on to in my copy-paste right now. Bots are asleep. Bots are very asleep. Um, maybe I should do something else while my bots recharge. Like, lay out some more rail. I think we'll have this rail go over here. And then it's just those two. Well, I wanted it to turn around here anyway. So maybe we'll do it like this. Do they have cliff explosives? Yeah, they do. Surely. Nope, never mind. Let's do some signaling. Actually, that last one's probably not necessary. And we want to go this way, and this way, and keep going left. And then we'll make a left turn after this one. left. Seems good. Then turn left. Actually, this is going to be further... Wanna be front right. Right about here. Or here. Don't think it really matters. So this will be bi-directional. Can't go that way, can't go that way. Can go both ways here. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of our 13 drills planned out. Actually, I should save some bot energy here. Yeah, 
damn it. Oh, I'm out of rail. Might help if I had the rail. Where is my rail here? Well, I should definitely have some in here. On with the box. Off with the bots. Uh, figures. Any more rocks? Just a few. stuff, obviously. And remove all of this old stuff. I'm pretty sure... Or maybe I was thinking of another planet. I was going to say I think these pipes go out quite a ways to another oil field. I'm going to be able to trim this more than I thought. Still not that much. Should probably check on what my spaceships are up to. Let's see. Hall of four is waiting to drop off Erudite. Hall of three. Same thing. Hall of two. Is moving. Going to Course Hall to get purple stuff. Fantastic. And Hollow One. Uh, is it still waiting to drop off more iridite? That's okay. I mean, it's not great, but... The system's at least somewhat working. This early stage. And I haven't even added the fixes to it yet that I've figured out. Hello, air style. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, no. 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 Alright, starting to look like what we want it to look like. We've actually cleared like half the planet. Except for the part where we've still got a million items sitting in the old outpost. Are you using mods? Yes indeed. I just finished my first rocket ever. Nice, congratulations. Never seen half of this stuff? Yeah, this is a very, very big mod set. Um, it adds a lot to the game. Space exploration in particular. Um, basically, the equivalent to launching a rocket in vanilla is kind of the beginning in space exploration. Did you get the loaders from the old pickup near where the emersite patches the loaders from the old pickup 
uh, Ignis, thank you for the follow. I'm not sure what you mean, fuckboy, or, or where you mean. Old loaders. That's... That's what we intend to place. Any Zerg on this planet? Not anymore. Actually, I think, uh, Exorian might have started out Vitalis. Somewhere in that area were two loaders with no tracks. I figured full of ore. Mm. Oh, there's a bit of pipe. I did miss that. Don't know about any loaders though. Alright, um, make more room in my inventory. I should probably bring Blue Belt with me though. If I could find it. Where are the undies? Lotus. Okay. We were already marked for decon. Can't pinpoint where though. Okay. We could do an entity search and find them. So if I go for... Wait, let me get these pipes. Because they're going to be easy to miss later on. Saw them. Just northeast of that station. Okay, then. Oh, this is northwest. Oh, these two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking of uh, these things when you said loaders. A little harder to spot. Okay. be way too much to carry. Um, maybe not. I, don't, I think it's still too much. Yeah, it is. Um, I don't think we can place anything, actually, because all my construction bots are busy. But I was going to say, can't place enough to free up an inventory slot. Here comes the bot snake. It didn't even slow down. Alright, should definitely be able to clear it next time. There they go. That flying thing is lit? Oh, the jetpack? Yes, it really is. I could hardly imagine Factorio without it at this point. If I'm being totally honest. Alright, so that's our drills over here. And everything on the south side of the planet as well. Oh yeah, I need to set the uh, space elevator to transfer electricity down. And then we can start sharing it with the main network. Uh, and then I can start getting rid of these old solar panels. 
It's actually quite a few of them. My bots are very cranky right now. Like, very, very cranky. Should probably build something instead at the moment. Let's turn off our robot pots for a sec. And I'll start planning out islands. Want them to all be nice and neat. And follow a consistent pattern as much as possible. This I'll have to do. And we continue. Figures. That just barely works. No, it doesn't. It doesn't touch the combinator. Uh, wait, wasn't I going to be able to put this one an extra tile or two down? Or is that as good as it gets? Don't tell me I'm going to need a whole extra pile on to go one more tile. Bruh. No. <laughs> okay, you know what? That can go down a few tiles. Wait, but this one's already as far down as it's going to go. I guess I could make this one a island substation, actually. But I, I did place one of these. Okay. And then that's a substation. Be a regular pylon. Perfect. And then? Almost. Probably make that work. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I need more rail. Actually, I think we have enough this time. Kind of close. I've also run out of bulk rail loaders, but that's a pretty nice, neat fit for our power poles. How's our robot charge? Oh! Uh. A bit. Not quite three quarters refilled, I would say. Doesn't take that long. Over here. Output belt from that last core miner misaligned. This one? No? 
for this one. That seems good too. Oh, I think they're fine. As far as I can tell. Oh, looks like we're picking up more barrel again. That's not what I meant to do. Let's grab this stuff. Sorry, thought you wanted them straight, not one-sided? Not one-sided. Uh, not sure if I know what you mean. Not one-sided. That's gonna be a good fit. And then down this way. That looks decent. We can put this wherever we like. Nice. So far, so good. I think we should check on our spaceships. Um, why are you running steam if you have 920 kilowatts of solar? It's going to very, very slowly run out of uranium at that rate. It would take a very long time. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have at least three ships. Three ships are waiting to drop off Iridite. One is running Immocite Core Fragments. Okay then. That'll sort itself out eventually. Uh, what was I doing? Continue to remove the old stuff. Um, I think I'll get rid of this barrel mine because it's right in the way of where I want to put... Rail going up here. I could have it go up that way. Nah, it's fine. Send that barrel home. Two hundred and eighty two stacks. I'm surprised Squeak Through isn't on your list. Uh, it's kind of built into space exploration. So I don't have to activate squeak through. And we need this again. Bidirectional, one way, one way. It's already one way. How about that? That makes more sense. We don't strictly need this corner here at all. But... That's fine. Probably front left. Or front right, rather.
Oh, is that too close? Hmm, I don't think so. The cargo, uh, the locomotive might be slightly slanted here, but this'll work. And again, that's kind of tacky. Um, let's move this forward a little bit. And we'll use back left. Or back right, rather. That's going to be neat. And as soon as each of these has a core fragment, I'll just do shift C. Fantastic. Actually, was that balanced? Probably. Alright. Power poles. Up this way. Maybe diagonal. Up here. Beautiful. And give me the stuff. Let's go drop some off. So this is, should be already done. Oh, we're missing a pylon. Right about here. Fantastic. And... How much bot power do I have? A little bit. We can get rid of the solar panels now. If you use Alt-D instead of Alt-X, you won't fill your cache of blueprints with unneeded stuff. Yeah, but the advantage is it implicitly ignores trees and rocks and uh, uh, cliff explosives. Dominic, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hurry up, bots. Thought they'd be a little bit faster than this. I wonder if they can keep up if I hold left. Hello, hope you're doing good. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Oh, hey, the construction area from over there is joining in. Fantastic. It's going to be so nice when this Kind of a mess, even though I kept it as minimal as I could. Outpost has turned into just nothing but these neat, clean rail pickups. Um, looks like our robots are tied again. Oh wow, that did that that was more severe than I thought. That didn't take long. So I'm gonna have to do this in like two or three or four chunks.
we did get our ammo set up up here, no? Well, some of it we did. Uh, let's see. That's not quite what I wanted. This is the one I was looking for. There we go. Normally we would only set that request when we detect a ship. Oh, we need Logibots on this side as well. Oh, we've got them. We don't have the fast inserters. Fast inserter... Bots, you are driving me crazy. Get in there. Fantastic. Alright. We fix these inserters. Oh, we do have... There's like one missing? Are you serious? Bruh. Superior inserter. Superior inserter? Nope. Okay. Where's that downgrade planner I had? How about this? We really don't need these to be superior inserters. Um, the only reason I set them up that way so was so that it would be one less stack of stuff that the uh, spaceship has to bring, constructor. Two missing from chest to first as well. The inserters? Did I just fix them? Fixed. Okay, right, cool. Whoops. Uh, whoops. There we go. And then... Where's our nearest... Okay, so there's one up here. Two over here. And one over here, and that's it, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, oh, 12. Where's number 13? Here it is. I already got it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. So I think we should have this rail continue up indefinitely till... This one, that's the wrong one. Fantastic. Those should be max distance. And how about a diagonal up this way? Beautiful. Let's go build that. Um, but first I need some more loaders and stuff. Or I, I will soon, anyway. Maybe not that many. So if we're going that far, maybe we should have... 
signal here. And should I branch off from this one to go for these three? Probably. Or I could just go straight up from here. kind of relaxing. Don't need no crude oil no more. We got to pick up the drills, but it's not like it's going to take long to fly around this tiny planet and place 13 drills or less. Uh, what about my inventory, though? Bonk? Emo? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The old stuff. What is the 70 ish gray boxes below the rails? 70 ish gray boxes. 70 ish gray boxes. In your inventory? Oh, these are bulk rail loaders. Big containers that drop stuff into cargo wagons. Thank you. You're welcome. We needed a prediction for how long until noticed. Until noticed what? What are you bullying me for? No bonk. Content? What? This is a zero content channel. We never, ever take unnecessary risks for the memes in this channel. Read my above message? Missing one rail. You're joking. Do you mean that it was supposed to be deconstructed or built or Oh god. What are the odds of that? Probably pretty decent with the way it doesn't want to place it over rocks sometimes. Thank you, thank you. I dare say we have enough rail to finish the build. So, have we sent a rocket back recently? No? Is that the last of the regular barrel? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So I should start shoving things that I don't want um, into this cargo rocket. I'm pretty sure it's already set up on the other end to deal with anything that isn't a uh, barrel. Let's double check. Egan barrel landing pad. Should be this one. And anything that isn't barrel goes to... back to the mall. That's, that's perfect. 
What should I put in? Uh, circuits? Let's see. What am I going to do with solid fuel? We can't turn it into liquid rocket fuel in K2, and even if we could, we're phasing it out. That's a lot of signal receivers that we don't need. Um, processing units. Advanced circuits. You know what, even if I messed up and realized actually I want those, It's like a few minute trip to go back to Hagen Orbit. I could just set this to like contents of the logistic network at some point. But I gotta be careful about the automatic resupply of cargo rocket sections. Don't really need this much rail right now. That is a big ol' empty depot. Do that and then subtract the signals you want to keep. I think it'd be a bit too easy to send away stuff that I do want to keep by accident. Let's go grab some more solar panels. Yeah, because once that rocket decides to launch, it is done. There isn't a window to tell it no. Alright, how are our spaceships doing? Ion 2 is on the move, Ion 1 is on the move, Ion 3 is waiting to drop off, and Ion 4 is dropping off. Uh, 1 and 2 presumably are going to get purple stuff. Fossil Orbit, and uh, Hagen Orbit with purple stuff. Fantastic. So we've actually got half of our ships getting Iridite and half getting uh, Imosite. Cave core fragments, and neither of them have arbitrary specific routes. They are just sent places by dispatch. I think that's pretty cool. half full already. It's not cool, it's awesome. <laughs> okay then. Let's park ourselves down here and keep watching. See if it doesn't kidnap any bots. Is that it? No, no, they're recharging. Once we get faster bots, they're going to fill the whole thing without a recharge. And they're not going to have to be that much faster, because it's almost full already. Probably a single uh, bot speed upgrade 
would make them load all of that in one go, actually. Why are they... Why do they come over here? Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed one. This is supposed to say Core Fragment Emesite Cave. Because we don't want that inserter activating until the ship leaves. Well, that's not good for the loading time. I bet we actually do already have enough bots. Or fast enough bots. Uh, worker robot speed. Huh. We could already have the next tier of this. Well, let's get it. Hopefully we've already got enough science saved up. Even though... Some of our resources haven't moved much in a while. Looking at you, 10 hours of no iridite core fragments before I noticed. Speaking of which... Or ing ingots, rather. Yeah, ingots are looking good now. Beryl is a lot more inconsistent, as expected. Steel, iron, and copper we haven't had to worry about in a very long time. All right, how about, um, girders? Have we made any girders in the last hour? Yes. Okay, that's, that's something. 5.3k in the last 10 hours, or rather the last three hours. That's a little better than I was expecting for the moment. Schnell bitte. Still gonna need a couple more recharges to have the bots pick up the rest of those solar panels. Why don't I just expand the RoboPort network, actually? Yeah, here they come. That'll take a pretty big dent out of it. And same thing up here. Construction mode. That's a good chunk of range. All right. I think we'll have rail going up this way. Another T intersection. Uh, where did I put my rail? Directional up here, this way only, and this way only. Seems good. Don't run into any rocks. Oh, that's a good fit. That's going to be a really good fit. I'm going to go front left. Right about here. Get rid of all these. That's actually already almost empty. And it looks like we probably will. Oh, that's kind of expensive. But it is only energy two. 
We should have like 10,000 of them actually laying around. Only 132. Uh, that's a little bit discouraging. How much energy to is down here? Yeah. That might take a little while. I never did set this thing to a higher threshold. Did I... Oh, I limited all of these to 200. So actually, we have no idea if we're having any trouble here. I'll bump that up a bit later, perhaps. I can't remember. I think it was hard prioritizing the higher tier sciences. Or didn't I make it so that... So that... So that what? I thought I, I thought I set it up so that um, these all balanced, but I'm not seeing that logic anywhere. Why are we blacklist energy science pack? What? Oh right. Gotcha. Positive plus the negative from the constant combinator. Hmm. On the plus side, I can easily adjust how much of each science pack to accumulate from the middle. On the minus side... Oh no, it's here, isn't it? Nope, never mind. I thought I had some logic in here somewhere that says 4 greater than 3, 3 greater than 4, two, uh, 3 greater than 2, etc. I fumbled over those words, but you get the idea. Whatever, uh, we seem to not be suffering a shortage of energy science, so maybe we'll get the faster bots quite soon. And didn't actually run pylons this way yet. That can be a substation. And then straight up here. It's not quite gonna work. How about a diagonal? It's gonna be a bit too far. I want it to be about here. Like where the robocord is. Pretty sure that's diagonal. Yeah, that looks right. Right, up we go. I guess I'll just put one here. Is that the last one? Not even close. 
Um, this calls for some undergrounds, I think. Unless I want to have the train... Well, no. Normally, you might do something like have the rail go to the right so other trains can bypass this. But, again, the individual coal mining drills are going to be so slow. That, and the trains are sufficiently large that we really don't have to worry about traffic. Alright, is that at least going to reach? Yes, quite easily. Did you make an LTN for spaceships? More or less. We've still got a couple of little kinks to figure out, but it's going quite well, I think. Let's do a diagonal here. I mean, there's always some bugs to figure out, right? I'd rather do it this way. Fantastic. 45 minutes left to cast votes in second round of Czech presidential elections. Mostly ceremonial. We'll know in a few hours. Okay then. So I'm going to want a uh, power pole... Going up diagonal like this. Nice and neat. And then straight up from here, I suppose. One and two. Definitely won't need any more bolts. Cool, cool. Couple more power poles, please. Or one, even. Fantastic. And I believe that just leaves one drill. Which we could probably go straight across from here. Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's just bust out. Well, not that one. Bust out the old blueprint book and put it about here. Then another corner like this. Um, and this will be bi-directional as well. Might be worth to check out, indeed. Oh, let me pick this up while I'm here. Isn't this turning into a much prettier, tidier simpler, more manageable outpost. Much more elegant. We do still have some barrel. I wonder if that uh, rocket left already. It did not. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So, rail. It's already been placed. This will be bi directional. So, we can leave from here. We can go down here. We can go up and down. And we can go right. And then back left. 
Seems good. Now, give me some rail. Cough it up. Where did my loaders go as well? I thought I had quite a few of them. I certainly have quite a few uh, media defense installation ammos. Oh, I need to turn off the resupply. Because if I take ammo... Is it Gibil? No, it's uh, Exorion. The planet that I'm on. Exorion. Yeah, the moment I picked up all those media defense ammos, they were getting loaded in here. Don't need this anymore. Or I could have just turned this thing off as well. Uh, but yeah, ammo can go in here. And where now is bulk rail loaders that I thought I had down here? That's not quite it. There they are. Here we go. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. Sorry, I don't know how to read that name. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, bots go on. And apparently I ran out of undergrounds. Uh, more importantly, kind of... Need to run some power poles. Like this. That doesn't need to be a wide pylon. Wait, I've got regular pylons? No, I don't. This is a navsat view. Lighted pylon. There we go. And probably here. Fantastic. Right. So is that literally every drill? Let's see. Search for tags. There are 13 core mining or core seams on the planet. And when we search for entity. Does it show us ghosts? Can this thing find ghosts? Not that I can tell. Alright. Let's go place the mining drills and see if they add up to 13. That's not going to be 13. We've already got four. I need another three. Whoops. Why, why can't I ride? I was worried something was seriously wrong for a second there. Just take extra to be sure. Okay. Let's just visit them all one by one. 
these three definitely need placement. I'll do this one as well first. And this will be the end of the old solar panels, except they're still up there. Never mind. Oh, I forgot to pick up the blue undergrounds. Let's do that. There's going to be more spots like this, I think. As we go on this little trip. Um, blue undergrounds, splitters, and we've probably already got enough express loaders and transport belts. But let's grab the rest anyway. Fantastic. Drill is active. I'm really looking forward to this being completely functional. And I'm really looking forward to updating our other... Is it two? It's three. Three old outposts um, that can cease to be such a mess. And we can stop using cargo rockets entirely. And we're going to have better throughput. And we're going to pay a lot less for the core fragments that we get. Very cool. Alright, so these ones are done. Let's head over to that one. I think we've confirmed extinction here, right? Yes. Thirty-three percent effective. We have ten. No, we have nine. That makes sense. That should already be active. That's already active. That one up there probably is a ghost. Oh no. Oh no. It's time for the walk of shame. Uh, can I possibly get around the walk of shame? I mean, I could borrow the construction train to come and pick me up. Why can't I? Oh, it doesn't have a path. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, no. Send a train? It's on a different rail network. Will all the old outpost equipment go back to Hagen for recycling? Uh, yes. I don't know what I'm going to do with solid fuel, though. Maybe burn it up in generators? Is this solid fuel? We can't use it for jetpack. And with K2, we can't turn solid fuel into solid rocket fuel either. Walks of shame, indeed. We're almost there. Almost there. Remember what it was like to have no stone all the time? It's good to see stone as kind of worthless again. Alright. No more walks of shame for at least ten minutes. Now for the flight of shame back up to where we were going. Fantastic. Then we'll head over to this top one. And make our way down. Yeah, 
And I think this will be the last one down here. I have a love-hate relationship we're going on with stone, indeed. Alright, that should be 13 drills. That's it, we're getting the maximum from the planet without more productivity bonus research. Now we actually just have to finish setting up the infrastructure to move it. And get rid of the old trains and stuff. This is going to fill up my inventory pretty damn quick. Oh, and I should probably check each and every drill as everything powered and connected and working. Looks like it. We are so close. I mean, except for the ludicrous amount of stuff here, we're so close to fully tidying up this outpost. Time to make some trains. Actually, I need to check orbit. Um, make sure we've been charging some battery packs. Looks like we have. Uh, not as many as I would like. Probably because we're not connected. I'm probably going to regret this, but let's... All right, do we have any Logibots up here? We do. Oh, I didn't bring Space Train Power Packs? How? Why? That seems rather odd. Power pack. Discharged. What about orbit? Nope, not a single one. I mean, we have like... seven on the entire planet, for some reason. Probably just what happened to be in my inventory. I'm not entirely confident to start the trains rolling with seven charged power packs between them all. I just have a, a little bad feeling about that, kind of a strange instinct that that might not be the best idea. Um, you know what I should have done? Is had this within... It had some, like, buffer chests in here or something, so I could set requests. Right here I could have got the bots to put, um power packs into my personal ship. Hmm. They wouldn't happen to be able to reach to turn that into a buffer chest, would they? That's looking a bit full. Oh, they can. That sound meant that it just finished loading the construction train. Cool, cool, cool. Um, power pack. Let's go for 120. Actually, I want 180. No, wait. 
Well, that's all we can fit anyway. No, we can fit 240. 240. So that is... If I do the usual three trains, which is probably overkill, which I'm sure is overkill, but it does have very nice bursty refilling of the core fragments in the space station. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, thirty, forty power packs for each locomotive. Um, it might not. It might leave a couple of locomotives without anything. Um, let's put it up here as well. Okay. Power pack. Discharged. Bring plenty. We're going to go to the trouble of sending a spaceship to make it happen. Alright. Exorion? Not Exorion Orbit. Wait, what? I forgot to switch off the go home button. Exorion... Actually, Exorion Orbit does make sense. And he'll be here in uh, quite a short amount of time, I think. Less than four minutes. Probably. It'll get faster um, as it gets closer to the sun. Right then. Let's grab some trains. I stopped transporting tier 3 modules in any other way than in full rockets 25k per rocket why would you still be using rockets when you've got that kind of scale yucky where, where are my uh, trains oh here they are for a second I thought I'd forgotten them okay so we want Locomotive... Four wagons... And locomotive... And then... Add in the speed boost slash fuel saver... Of electric engines that run off of solar... And then... Uh, I need the schedule. I think I can... I don't know if I can copy it from another planet, but I do want the same schedule. Wait, what? That's interesting. The train that's, like, attached to this train but on another surface doesn't have any schedule. Alright. Um, how about I do this? That might actually work out just fine. Space locomotive. Never made a blueprint like that before. Let's see how it goes. Um, it's going to be a little easier if we do it this way, I think. And then place like so. Fantastic. I think the two locomotives that I made that had stuff in them probably got stacked different though. What the... Is it these two? Oh, it is. Well, that was convenient. It would have been more convenient if I'd noticed beforehand. Alright, where's our ship? Oh, it's almost here. My build for tier 3 modules rest is happening in space. Let's 
taking its sweet time loading. Just straight into the rocket. Okay. Alright, the baby ship has arrived. Let's anchor right about here. Why not? Not gonna do any harm. Actually, maybe it could have done some harm, but I didn't foresee. Whoops! No, that's fine, actually. Alright, so now we're finally starting to charge these things. Uh, I think... No, I'm, I'm sure you can just go home now. Launch. Back to Hagen orbit you go. Fantastic. And as soon as this thing actually, huh? It's going to take a little while before we have a decent amount of you. Why is this not? Oh, did I steal them? I did. I was going to say, why is it not inserting? The charged power packs, because it already did, and then I picked them up with the train. Alright, we'll give that a little bit of time. Actually, do I have any of these lying around? I do not. Actually, construction ship should. Yeah, here they come. Do we have any purple chests lying around? Yeah, we do. Avoid handcrafting them. Stacking more stuff. I th think charged packs are going to need a request over here. Or this should be a buffer. At least temporarily. Do we not have a buffer chest up here? We might not actually. This won't work as a buffer when the spaceships are supplying uh, power packs. Actually, if it's only asking for charged packs, that's not that's not actually a problem. Because the spaceships never deliver them as charged packs. Because for some reason they stack higher when... They're discharged. Alright, cool. That'll be ready in relatively short order. Let's go back to pillaging. I mean, refactoring. Oh, I need to move these names. Um, I think the obvious place is directly below the space elevator. Well, how about to the right? Right about here. Maybe I should put some... Some concrete or stone down or something. So we get a nice uniform background. Do we have some stone? Uh... 
uh, surprisingly not, we do have stone brick. And concrete. Let's see how the concrete works, if only because it's right here. Well, that's pretty difficult to see, I think. Could be worse. Could be a lot better. Alright, I give up. Where are the stone bricks? Oh, I should have seen that. That's not much better. Let's try stone. Except I don't have any. Except I have these drills. Um, I'm gonna need... About... 200, though. For starters. Oh, we're already up to 60. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go decon things. Why do I have 95? Oh, that makes sense, actually. 95 space platform plating is actually what's left over when we request uh, 6,300? I definitely overestimated that, because the blueprint said 6.1k, I think, which could be anything up to 6.2k. Minus one. Uh, six point two k. So it could be sixty three hundred. And I went thirty one fifty times two. Oh, that is sixty three hundred. So it barely needed uh that extra hundred. Well, some amount into that extra hundred. Didn't actually need an extra hundred. Alright, stone. That's a bit better. I could go and get the, uh, the dark tiles that I've got back at the mall. They're kind of expensive, though. They're, they're a little bit... They take a little bit to make. They're not that expensive. But I'd have to go back to Hagen. We could do that though. For the name in base, obviously worth. Um. I'm noticing something. Something I may have forgotten at my outposts. My, my, our, our new outposts. Uh, um, where's the umbrella? Should probably go about here. I'm I'm a little sad that there's no central tile to place it against. But close enough, I suppose. Yeah, that'll do. Upstairs, right about here. 
How many of these do we have now? Oh, they're still filling up the first train? No? Then where are they going? Did we literally... No. We did not just catch them. We kind of did. Just catch them filling up the first train, more or less. Just not that precisely. Alright. So, we've got our schedule. Uh, we're going to have to change it from Corsal, of course. But all of these station names should be the same. Nice and generic. Oh, let's fix this thing. What type of core fragment is it? Barrel? And since it's hard to spot, I bet at the other outposts. This is the first one I noticed that I'd missed it. Let's check this one. Yep, that should be Iridite Core Fragment. Cool, cool, cool. Why didn't I just use S for these, though? I'm sure there was a reason over here. No. S comes off of the green wire, right? But is it necessarily on this big green wire? That's a different green wire. Okay. Sense making. I'm beginning to remember now. Alright, so we've got stacker times three. And then we've got four five pickup. Seems good. So what's this called? Exorion. Exorion down, Exorion up. Get rid of Corsol down. And Corsol up. And that should be it. That should be our train schedule. Off we go. Doop -a doop faster bots. Fantastic. And up the elevator we go. I bet just one train would keep up with the whole system. But let's make three anyway. As soon as the train laps us again. Where's it gone? Here it comes. Don't attach to that train, thank you. Alright. Gonna have to change the schedule each time. Uh, elevator, Exorion, down and up. And up. How much fuel do you have? Quite a bit. No path? You're already at refuel, though. I guess maybe you're technically ahead of it. Cool. And once more with feeling. Before the next train comes. Uh, That's actually a problem. Let's just get rid of this. Let the train through. Next 
one's already coming. I get the feeling it would have been slightly easier to place them here. Uh, if I did them on a straight area. Uh, let's see. Exorion. Down and up. And up. Should probably let a few more power cells accumulate. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Do we have a I guess I didn't even pack an umbrella in the construction ship. When's the next CME? And why does it say I discovered a new moon orbit? Alright, first things first, CME. Uh, seven and a half hours. Is heading for Isabella. Alright, I don't think we have to panic. I think we'll probably be fine, actually. Oh, is this where the destroyed... Oh, these are destroyed, okay. I was gonna say discharged power packs. We're going. Okay. Yeah, seems like it. How's our robot network here? 50 and 50. Perfect. Oh, it's one robot network still. Whoops. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so that just leaves... Oh, they're already caught up with the mines. I'm not shocked by that, actually. That just leaves dismantling the old base. Oh, we do have an umbrella right here. So... I'll just move that into orbit for no particular reason except for consistency and aesthetic. Nice. Took a little while, and this is the smallest, although not the simplest, of our extant early game outposts. But I'm sure we'll figure things out. May as well send... no, we'll send other stuff with those core fragments. Alright, so we've already switched off sending stuff to this planet. Um, I dare say we can deconstruct the construction train now. Whatever this is. It's 
so long. It's going away. Little by little. Well, faster and faster, actually. Are we out of storage space? No. So now might be a good time to set the quests everything. And we can do the same thing over here. Oh, and away it goes. Nice. Looks like we could do a few more ships, assuming we have the cargo rocket sections for them, which we do. Fantastic. Except... Isn't it going to put... I mean, it's a bit random, but it could put cargo rocket sections in here. So let's... Let's make that the bottom. Capsules as well. Act. Cargo rocket sections. And cargo sections. So we're just not packing up the stuff that we need to make more rockets yet. Decision was made, people voted, now we'll see how the count will end up. Don't forget to double check. Oh, I might... No, only when I'm making a spaceship do I need that. And when I'm doing that, I can pick it up very easily. Uh, what was I dropping off here? I actually don't remember. Axe. Not the destroyed ones, though. Yeah, the stone doesn't look that bad, actually, for a background for this one. We've got plenty of media defense upstairs. How's our power? Hmm, I wonder if it'll be enough. Probably. There goes another rocket. Fantastic. Won't delete the rocket fuel. That's the last thing we need to accidentally remove, or deliberately for that matter. See, Veldek is the same country as me, indeed. Um, get this out of my inventory. Actually, the ammo should stay.
Weird how the bots get teleported when you use the uh, space elevator, even if they're far away from you. That's a lot of ammo. It's going to save a lot of spaceship trips. Well, not actually. It's just going to save packing the ammo into the spaceship for a long time. The reason these numbers are so large is because I was doing a kind of simple multi-rocket system. Uh, as in, not multiple rockets, but rather one rocket bringing multiple resources. Um, basically I would ask for 500 stacks of each thing, and subtract what we've already got, and just shovel it into a rocket until launch on cargo full condition is met. It's not even going to fit in here. Bruh. That's a lot of ammo. It's difficult to overstate how easy it is to keep up with iron, copper, steel, etc. Compared to any exotic resource. Well, most exotic resources. This playthrough. Jeez, we've still got chests full of it. How much can go in here? Only ten. Is there any in here? There is. Should probably avoid that. I don't want to have to add more storage upstairs just for this, though. It's not that big of a deal. Hmm. already full. I guess that's exactly what I should have expected. Maybe I could put in some temporary storage? Uh, just send the ammo back home. This is already such a ludicrous amount for this one outpost. It's going to last for Maybe the entire playthrough, actually. Did we actually get rid of all the iron and copper? We did. Huh. That was a little bit faster than I thought. Definitely not complaining. How many more rockets can we launch, I wonder? I think it completely depends on liquid rocket fuel. 50k each. 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 5. Um, but yeah, we've basically cleaned up our old outpost. 
Uh, I don't think I've done the... Did I do the settings up here already? No, I did. And this is going to be outpost signal 3. Shouldn't it be signal 2? It's the th third of these, isn't it? Yeah. This thing's still totally broken. Launched 250 sphere collectors today. Got about 70 spheres. Ouchie. Why is the barrel not blowing still? Is something busted? Destination full. I think it's just all the individual drills are that slow. And then there's going to be like several train loads of these all at once because we've got three trains picking them all up. I want to attempt direct insertion for sphere folding. I hope that will make it fast. I'm sure it will. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's... That, that's just a random locomotive that's in the middle of the desert. Lost and abandoned. Here is a chest full of stone. We know what to do with that. I should leave a roboport behind with, um... Are these made of stone brick? Small concrete text plate. Never mind. How much concrete do we have left here? Ten. Oh no. Is there any in here? 540? Gimme gimme. 644. Okay, cool. Wait, 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 wait. Furthermore, wait. Give me the concrete. And the concrete. And leave a roboport. Uh about here. Let's make this a pylon substation. And then we need um probably just an assembler. Con small concrete text plate. I mean, any kind of chest will probably do here. Let's just put the requester chest in case there's any more concrete back there. And passive provider, maybe storage. What about a storage? Just in case of anything unforeseen. Text, plate, concrete, less than... Uh, 100? What does it stack to? 100. you to give me that storage chest. Where did it go? There we go. And leave behind some construction bots. Cool. 
How do you supply rocket fuel when you still used rockets primarily? Shipping in local production? Uh, what I would do exclusively, even on waterless planets in the early game, if I was doing relatively early game, you know, for space exploration, if I was going to do it again, is uh, solid rocket fuel made with ammonia. Uh, fed by water separation. So for the waterless planets, we just send ice, which we need to do anyway. And it doesn't actually cost that much more. It, hardly any difference, actually. Uh, water to keep the whole thing going. You will need a lot of machines to get any remotely decent throughput of liquid rocket fuel, but you won't have to worry about running out of crude oil. Storage chest is on the ground between other chests now. Oh, back up here? So it is. That makes sense. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I didn't say so. I think my brain is melting and I'm over time. I should probably stop here for today. Um, that'll give me some time to think about exactly how I want to solve that one problem. Um, whereby, what was it? Oh yeah, whereby we're gonna, if, if I don't think of something else, we're gonna have to have like n number of combinators, depending on how many outposts we have at each launch area. Previously, I thought we would only need n number of combinators here, which I was fine with. Um, it's very, very straightforward, very simple. But to figure out uh, which outpost that we sent a ship to, and adjust a signal on a global memory cell accordingly, um, it, it's kind of the only place that makes sense to do that logic is here when we launch them. Alternatively, well, I also want the information of how much storage space the ship has because we're going to have larger ships later. And that information is here. Maybe I could, like, pulse back to central launch ship with this many, with S equals this. Um, and there's only one, no, 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 that doesn't work. I was going to say there's only one, um, like, buffered destination, but that's not true. Um, this gets sent to the memory cell at the launch pad and then discarded at central, and this will be held onto until we launch. So central has already moved on to the next one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about that. Anyway, we're mostly pretty much finished. Um, we've done all the hard parts of... Clearing out the old base. Now we've got this lovely, clean, straightforward thing. Which, once I get it actually working, is going to be supplying us with a lot more barrel. To say the least. And we won't have to pay copious uh, cargo rocket sections or liquid rocket fuel to make it happen. Thanks for sharing. Quality stream as ever. Thank you. Seems kind of complicated for the increase in efficiency, which can be negated by just tapping more ore veins. Uh, more veins means more outposts means lower UPS. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. Do take care, 
And I'll see you next time. Why am I starting that spiel when I haven't picked someone to raid yet? Let's have a look. Yeah, um, so with the larger... Like, with the small moons like this, we are tapping the entire moon. But with the larger ones, like, for example... Stormhurst is big enough. I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna... Even though the trains could handle it, I'm not gonna go and get every single um, core scene drilled on this entire planet. The power from orbit could absolutely handle it. That's not a problem. And even if it was a problem, we could just expand this. Um, but we get diminishing returns from the core mining drills. So I stopped at, I think, 18 here. 18 drills, yep. Uh, just because that's about what we can get in this area. And if I go, like, this much further, I'm getting, like, one more. Once I find the last sneaky worm that's hiding here somewhere, we'll be able to confirm hostile extinction, which means I'll be able to trim the surface uh, down to just the minimum rectangle that's going to fit everything that we've got on this planet. Um, that's going to make the save file smaller, which is going to make autosaves a lot quicker. Uh, and I presume it has some impact on UPS. I don't think, I don't, I don't think just having open space is that big of a deal in my experience, though. It's more about all the machines and things that you've got, um, that have to think about things. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna have just a 10,000 radius planet with every single drill, uh, tapped for those reasons. We're also looking for, like, this is kind of an exception. This, this'll, I'm, I'm not going to, like, decommission these old outposts. But in the late game, I only want outposts that are really, really close to the interstellar map. Kalmea is so close that it's not going to matter because we're not going via the, um, uh, the anomaly. Because it's actually quicker to just go straight there. Um, but into the late game... We're going to be looking for planets like this one, super close to the interstellar map, and uh, at least a fairly large radius. Preferably like, preferably like 9,000, um, because the ship's going to pop out here and have the shortest possible travel distance. I think map size only affects save, uh, save file size. I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. It, it's very, like, anecdotal, but um, it, it seems to me from experience that there's little to no UPS impact from having it all explored. Uh, anyway, let's see who's streaming. Um, Cyclo, perhaps? Oh, that's Mucky's usual thing. Silent Storm... Wait, are they all doing K2? Well, that's different. Mucky did drop by earlier. Let's say hello to Mucky. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. We will be continuing tomorrow and the day after with SEK2, where things will be accelerating a bit, because we'll be getting more of these outposts uh, working properly, our throughput's going to increase, our maintenance decreases, the number of parts that can break decreases, it's going to be more reliable, and we can just start powering through to the late game. See you tomorrow. I'll be there exactly five seconds after the start. Thank you, Veldak. Look forward to it. All right, uh, off we go.
then we have an agreement. <laughs> he doesn't want to shoot, just compel. Half those fucking uh, worms are still alive. <laughs> New Connie for starts is a bad combo. <laughs> hey, Maki, you fucking fuck. Could you?